Hi guys! <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'm so sorry. I've had a day. What's new, right? Um, <laughs> what's fucking new? But, hi everybody! Welcome, welcome. I hope you are all doing well. I hear music. That's good. Uh, welcome, everybody. Is it supposed to say Gingham or Ginham? Does it say Ginham? Of course, it fucking says Ginnam. <laughs> One second. Thanks. Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> How are you? Um, what can I say? I'm not lying. Welcome to a sore clicky clack, a double do, meek balls, Hu Tang clan eight. Salvin, it's Mrs. Buzz Buzz. That's not how you spell Mrs. Salvin, but I'll take it anyway. Um, Gasp has been caught lacking, dude, my entire life. <laughs> it's just me lacking. <gasps> Christopher Yee. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Welcome, Yayan Car, the man, the designer himself, in my chat. Hot down, guys, guys. Do you see something different about the background? Do, do you see something? I mean, besides the map, we, we don't, don't, don't look there. People wave. Spence Smith, thank you so much for that tier one sub. Um, more RGB. Well, I mean, we've had this RGB for a while, Grace. You're just kind of late to the game, buddy. Um, a mysterious package arrived at my PO box that I picked up today. One of you guys made that and sent it to me. <laughs> it's me, Moro. Kindly made that and sent it in. There's also a sneaky little, uh, sneaky little something back there that one of you guys sent in. Thank you. <laughs> it's so sweet. Wait, can I, like, I want to, like, go get these and, like, properly show them. Can I do that? Hold on, hold on. Don't be fucking weird, chat. Just because I'm standing up, all right? I swear to Christ. Look at this! It's the it's the it's the keyboard B. My three-year-old sees your stream and says it's the B keyboard. Oh, cute, dude. It's the scuffed bee and the good bee. And look at this. Are you kidding me? Like what? Guys, this made my. I've had a day and a half. But this is fucking cute. I appreciate it, guys. Like, honestly, my heart. We'll, we'll put these back now. But I guess we're not here for like B related shit. I guess we're kind of here for keyboards maybe. So maybe I should get into that. I don't know. What a creative audience. <laughs> Excuse me. Why does the B look like a mouse? Because you're blind, digital nothing. Don't insult the B. His name is Mason and we love him. All right, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that a little aggressive? I, I'm just very, I'm very defensive of, of Mason, all right? He's fucking cute, he doesn't deserve that. <laughs> that walking looks like the floor is messy. I have uh, two boxes that are like between me and like the things behind me. So that's what I was stepping over, sorry. <laughs> I have them like packed and ready to go for tomorrow. Mason is a strong B name, thank you. I wish I could take credit, but I cannot. <laughs> all right, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck everything else. Let's, let's get into keyboards. Y'all y'all, don't really care. You're just humoring me. I know. Don't worry. I know. <laughs> Ignore the, the slightly crooked camera. Hold on. I am a professional streamer. Um, so we have a little, a cute little through hole kit today. Um, it is the Gingham, uh, designed by Yain Car. It's currently up on Novel Keys. 
so for those of you who don't know what a through hole kit, basically a through hole kit is where you get a PCB like this that has none of the components pre-soldered. So you're soldering on everything. So the diodes, the resistors, the capacitors, uh, the MCUs, which in this case are IC chips, uh, LEDs, the USB-C port, everything. So basically we're gonna be building a keyboard from scratch today. Um, I love through hole kits, <laughs> like, so much. If you guys have been around for a while, you know my love for through hole kits. We have the Romeo uh, right over the shoulder. Oh, you can't see it, the chair's in the way. Um, we have like the Romeo, we put together a Mysteria, we put together a Discipline. Like, I love through hole kits. It's basically perfect if you want to learn more about like how keyboards actually work. Uh, or you just want to practice some soldering because these are pretty soldering intensive. So I'm ex I'm like so excited. Uh, what headphones are you rocking? I if you had exclamation point I E M, uh, you should you should be able to see it. There's no plate, right? There is no plate on the gig M, correct? My grandmother was a B. Same. <laughs> Do you prefer a crazy cat lady or a crazy keyboard lady? I'm pretty sure they're 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 either either one is accurate. <laughs> Sold out on Novel Keys? It is not actually. You're probably looking at the wrong one. I will link you. Here we go. One of my mods, would you be willing to make this into a command for me? I apologize for the work. This is a discipline. This is actually called a gingham. A gingham. All right, I think we're just gonna get into it. So I have pre-lubed these uh, alpacas and put some desk keys films on them. So these are gonna be the second debut of desk keys films. Um, I did bag lube them. So if you see a little bit of lube on the stem, that's why. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to make bag lubing like work <laughs> because I know so many people don't lube their switches because of how like time intensive it is so I'm trying to figure out a way where it's still like time saving but it's still like not terrible I'm not gonna lie it's a big ask but I'm, I'm trying for you guys I hear your cries and I'm trying to figure out stuff for you <laughs> I'm not like a hundred percent impressed but I think this is about as good as it could have got all right let's get cracking so we are following the build guide if you go to the gingham kit that's linked in the build command and you scroll down, you can follow along the build guide if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna really show it on screen because that would it would just be so fucking cluttered. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, but we are going to check and make sure that we have all of our parts um, because <laughs> I may have been playing with the parts a little bit before this and I may or may not have set one aside. <laughs> all right, so we should have a crystal, that's this. Um, two LEDs, one red and one green, got them. A USB-C port, excellent. This will be the hardest thing to solder when you solder. So we're gonna spend some extra time soldering this in. Are you gonna want really thin solder and a really fine point uh, on your uh, soldering iron, uh, generally speaking? Um, we want a capacitor. So there's different types of capacitors. There's ceramic capacitors uh, and electrolyte. <laughs> I always get this wrong. Electrolytic capacitors. So this is your electrolytic capacitor. And then we need two 22s. Oh. And two 104s. these I'm not sure if you can see the 104 but I promise there's numbers on them perfect all right and then we need three 10k ohm and three 1.5k ohm this is gonna be a long one oh I, you'd be surprised at how quickly I can knock one of these out these were like my bread and butter when I first started out because nobody a lot of people buy these and then realize that it's too much work but don't want to like admit defeat <laughs> So they would pay me to build them, which kind of defeats the purpose, but whatever. I'm not complaining. All right, so we have, ooh, these should be marked, but I don't think they are. So we're just gonna have to go by the colors, which is not great. So these are gonna be our 75 ohms. 
Um, for anybody who's wondering, the 75 ohms have that gold band down the middle, and there's two of them. Then we have 310k ohm, which should be these guys. So 10k ohm resistors are the ones that we're gonna get don't have a green band. The 1.5k ohm do have a green band, which you can't really see, but trust me, there's a green band. <laughs> And then uh, these are the 5.1K. Okay, I'm gonna keep these in order so we don't have to sort through them again. I know Cozy for his through hole kits just writes in pen what they are. I feel like that would be a little bit more user friendly, just like as, a, and as an aside. Then I have our fuse. Fuse, we like a fuse. All right, and then, oh. And then we have our Zener diodes, too. And then we have our gazillion and a half roll of diodes, which I believe I put elsewhere. Whoop, we'll find them later. <laughs> and then we have our reset and boot switches. Got them. Then we should have some M2 spaces. We have rubber feet. We have our USB. Okay, so we're just minus our M2 spaces right now and our roll of diodes. Oops. Those were almost definitely sent to me, and I almost definitely lost. No idea what resistors and capacitors are used for, but I just followed the build guide. Sure, and if you're wondering, I would suggest you just look them up. This reminds me of Physics 2 Labs, but like in the best way, right? This is like fun Physics Labs. Because you get to keep the thing after you're done building it. Where or what do you look for when getting vintage blacks? Um, so honestly, do blue. Um, that would be an entire fucking hour long conversation in and of itself. It's widely debated. That's a lot of different opinions. But to summarize it in a single, really oversimplified sentence, you're looking for really fucking old switches. <laughs> also, can we just can we just like talk about the fact that this comes with a case? So every single one of these comes with a case, and it also comes with a screwdriver. I really like the EVA case. It's gonna be really nice for like any 60, not even just the gingham. And then there's the screwdriver it comes with. Kinda cute. Show the weave backplate. Okay, Birdo. Hold on. Oh no! There's stuff on my side. I feel like this music is way too chill. 10 features, thank you so much for extending that tier one sub through August, in for the long haul, I see. Uh, this is just like a thing of water. There's just water in it. I use it to wet any wipes. In case you were thinking that I was like, <laughs> going to clean this with some coffee. This is my non-drinkable water. Novel Keys is killing it with the cases. Dude, cases are underrated. Such a nice case with that logo, right? All right, so per, per our resident King Weebs request, prepare your IIAs. We do have a weave backplate. Um, the backplate works in both ways. So if you aren't in for the weeaboo shit, you can have the uh, backplate. Ignore my wet fingerprints. Um, you can have the backplate this way. But if you tend to, you know, if your finger tends to slip and hit the IIA button, you can, I, I, uh. I don't know what that says, but I'm sure it's some weeb shit. How long has your hair been green? A long time, what? It's just always up. All right. So I'm actually going to go grab um, some water because I'm already parched. I'm so sorry for my lack of preparation, I know. Bury me, unprofessional streamer. I will be right back. I'm gonna grab some some something to drink, and then I'm gonna also dig up our uh, diodes and the uh, spacers um, because those are here. <laughs> so in the meantime, enjoy the groovy music, and I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> Bury
bear with me. I'll explain why I'm so disorganized and frazzled when I come back. It's a bit of a long story, so I don't know. Grab a coffee or something. Tuck in. It just says gingham through hole. What do you mean, red is on? I fixed it. Where did my diodes go? The Japanese says gingham through hole. Oh! But like without an H or? Because if it's without the H, that's pretty fucking funny. Also, I apologize if me talking to you without you being able to see me is weird. I'm finding the through hole diodes right now. Well, I'm sure some of you would enjoy it. I'm not here to give you like a view down my shirt or some shit, so <laughs> bear with me. Are the new kits on the on NK the older micro USB or the new USB C? They are the new USB C. So the sold out Gingham kits uh, are the old ones. These are the new ones. Everything's fixed. All right. Who's ready to just bend diamonds for three hours? I am. So um. I should probably scroll, scroll down and see how you get. Okay, diodes. So there are diode vendors if you want to purchase them. Uh, that's not me. Um, there's like, <laughs> I just can't be bothered. There's two ways to bend diodes to the proper like length. Um, one way, you just literally take them on the side of your finger and just go like this. And that works nine times out of 10. I personally like to pop them off and bend them individually. Um, that's what works best for me. You do you, boo. Hi, my Mysterium PCB is literally just still arrived from a Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's been a while since we've done one of these through-hole builds, right, Super Switch? This looks like quite an experience. It's always super fun. Uh, this is one of probably the easier through-hole kits. Uh, you can get pretty hard ones like the corn, for instance. Like this doesn't even have, this isn't even, I said through-hole kits. I should say DIY kits. Um, so, just for reference, when you're putting in these diodes, um, you'll see silk screen onto the PCB. There's a little square with a line in one direction. The side that has the line is the side that you want to align that black line on the diode itself. Sorry, we're gonna... Diode itself. So for these ones, it'll be like this. So that black bit goes towards where the line is on the PCB. The RGB on the corn is very hard, OMG, dude. The RGB on the corn is what started my build service. No meme. Uh, I have built so many fucking corns. <laughs> corns kept me fed for so many months. I use tweezers. I bought a diode ruler, but too wide. Feels bad, man. Aw, that stinks. I just use my fingers. At this point, it's pure muscle memory, so I get them pretty dead on every time. But yeah, you do want to bend your diodes nicely because if you fuck them up, <laughs> it's not gonna be very pretty. Any thoughts on the afternoon keyboard? It's not for me. 
it's cool if it's for you. It seems kind of expensive for what it is for me, and it doesn't really do anything particularly special for me, so I'm sitting out on it. I have nothing against it, though. Um, also, if, like, the silk screen for some reason is, like, too hard for you, or you just want a general rule of thumb, regardless of whether or not they're nice enough to give you that silk screen, um, the side with the black line always goes toward the square hole. So there's two ways to make sure that you're orienting everything properly. Last one was maybe the Romeo. Last one I caught at least. Yeah, it's been a hot second. If you enjoyed looping streams, you might have to contain your excitement for this stream. E so, story time, I guess. Um, so today I was working on um what was i working on oh i'm setting up some scenes and stuff for the stream trying to make things look a little bit more professional and polished um and so in the process of that uh, i managed to somehow break so i'm using a uh hdmi to micro hdmi uh converter uh and in the process of setting all this up and like testing things out, etc., I managed to break it. That was about three hours ago. So I had a place like, I had to find a store near me that sold one, which was way harder than you would think. Um, nobody sells micro HDMI to HDMI cables in, like in the like extant stores. It's all online. Um, so like to find even like a converter was so hard. I had to drive like 30 minutes away to pick it up chill um so i'm panicking i'm like great i just ruined the stream for tonight because we're not gonna have a face cam nice good going marcia uh all because you were like trying to make something nice happen you couldn't be fucking careful classic and uh it's been a breaking equipment gear week for you huh yeah i don't know i think i suddenly like transformed into the incredible hulk just magically started like breaking thankfully no keyboards just my shit but still um anyway so i broke that we found it good gg um i come home and i get this like message this foreboding message from one of my clients who i built a one of one board for uh it was just uh it was just my name and then five crying faces and i'm like oh shit because i know that their board was supposed to arrive so i'm like did it arrive broken like did i fuck something up like what the hell it got stolen their board got stolen uh, after being delivered so immediately after stream, guess who's getting to file a claim with USPS? It's me. Um, and of course it happens to a literally irreplaceable board, a one of one. <laughs> Nothing else like it, keyboard the worst one for it to happen to so we're holding out hope that maybe they like delivered it to the wrong mailbox and it'll like show up or maybe it's like on its way back to me and they just didn't notify them or something um fingers crossed <laughs> please like cross your fingers for us because um when i say i am stressing it does not convey the amount of pure adrenaline that's coursing through my veins right now over this might be worth it to keep their eyes peeled online it might turn up somewhere for sale yeah well i mean the good news is is that uh it is one of one there's literally only one of these so if it ever does turn up for sale we'll find it the worry is is that most people don't look at keyboards and think oh that's expensive um, they look at keyboards and think, oh, that's trash. So if anybody legitimately stole the package thinking, oh, you know, just, it's there, steal it. 
Um, it's almost definitely winding up in the trash. <laughs> There's like a 0% chance that they'll get it back if it's legitimately stolen. So we're holding out hope that it's just lost. <laughs> Would someone even like, like there's i mean the keyboard hobby is big but it's also incredibly small no one's going to know to steal that package so um it it it, it was clearly either the work of your average package thief in which case oof or it's lost um it's probably stolen but we're gonna hold out hope that it's lost just tuned in what board are you talking about a one of one board that i shipped was it insured? Oh, HTC Dragon. If only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, feels bad, man. Hi, Soren, how are you, dude? I buy insurance when shipping things back to customers all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I offer it like it's there. They have to request it. But in, in the shipping form, I say, if you want insurance, let me know. We'll, we'll get you taken care of. Um, unfortunately, they did not opt for insurance, but this person doesn't care about the money, is my understanding. Um, they're just sad that their irreplaceable board is gone. <laughs> right? That's the big oof, not the cash money. I had something similar happen where I traded a SAT 75 to someone in USPS, either misdelivered it or someone stole the package. I'm out a SAT 75. That sucks, Captain Rook. I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to change the subject or anything. I mean, I'm here for it, Solomon. <laughs> Um, but I found out today that Modern Dolch Round 2 sold over 7,000 base sets. That makes no sense. The set isn't even that good. I bought one, but I don't think it should have sold that well. So you've got to understand uh, that sell number includes extras. Two, Modern Dolch is uh, a pretty classic set in some ways. So Dolch was one of the original custom key sets that I ever ran. And Modern Dolch is basically if you took Dolch. Uh, and just like made it cooler and therefore like cooler is in in tone so dolch is quite warm toned modern dolch is quite cool toned so it's basically if you made one of the og key sets much better looking also one of the most famous videos <laughs> and all of keyboard history is uh teha typing on a fiel with modern dolch on it so between all those things <laughs> Modern Dolch sold quite a bit. It's also like, it's, 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 hits the sweet spot of being a boring set, but a boring set with some interest. So there's that too. The space bar that sounds like Mr. Krabs walking. Yeah. Nathan's fingers. Oh man, those rings do something for some people. Mist was not my cup of tea. It wasn't really my cup of tea either. I didn't get in on Modo, but I understand why it sold what it did. Also, I just put in a diode upside down. This is why you need to pay attention. Cause weep shit, uh oh. Dude, so like, look. I'm a weeaboo as much as any of the rest of you, right? Uh, despite the anti-weeb memes, uh, I am in fact a closeted weeaboo. Um, I'll admit it here now. Um, but the sheer amount of fucking weeb sets. <laughs> some of them extraordinarily low effort. Like, I shit you not, some of them have novelties where they didn't quite trim out all of the 
Phil that used to be there on the clip art that they stole. Not gonna name names. It's still up. Um, and popular. Um, and I gotta admit, it's kind of making me feel some kind of way. She has weave tattooed on her skull and under all that hair. No, you, you guys keep wondering if that's chocolate on my arm, but that's actually like a little script that says weep. <laughs> OMG, don't get me started. Super Switch, please get started. Thoughts on GMK Greg? GMK Greg is art. <laughs> and anybody who says otherwise doesn't have taste, all right? OMG, hair down. Oh yeah, we never have our hair down because my hair is in a state, dude. Like, can we not? I just have a face coming at me from Soren. Defend GMK Greg at all costs, amen, Wood. Wood knows. Soren, you mod for Nathan. I'm not, I'm not gonna listen to you. <laughs> Got my Doggy Kong switches ready for GMK Greg. What the fuck is Doggy Kong? Is it. Is that another JWK <laughs> recolor? I wish they made weed stuff as add ons to the main color scheme of the set. I mean, generally speaking, they do, Draxion. Uh, I just wish they would, like, make them good. <laughs> like, you can make a good weeb set. It's just most of this is, like, stole. It's stolen IP, stolen clip art. For really fucking low effort, not even centered art, didn't even bother to read like the GMK spec sheets, so they're putting like impossible to do shit on these key sets and pretending like they can make it into an actual product, which they can't. <laughs> I, it's kind of making me feel some kind of way. And GMK Darling, I had to buy the Norma Alphas. Well, GMK Darling was a good weeb set, Draxion. Don't come for GMK, darling. <laughs> We're talking about other weep sets. What do you think about GMK Hammerhead? I'm gonna get it. I think it looks really nice. It's just not for me. It's not my kind of colors. Why was I watching your last vlog just now instead of the live stream? I don't know. You see someone still. Why were you? <laughs> Hotter takes than Hugo keys. Is it though? Is hey, please put some effort into your fucking key set. That much of a hot take. I don't think it is. <laughs> Dixie, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome back, dude. We were just talking about Modo. Repeating because it got lost in chat. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at keeping up with chat sometimes. As someone who did graphic design freelancing on the side through college, I'm a strong proponent of either designing your own stuff or commissioning someone to do for it. Don't just steal clip art, please. Super Switch, can you just at the entire uh, keyboard designer, uh, anybody who calls them themselves like a, a keyboard designer but only has like one set in IC, please. <laughs> I think they need to hear you. <laughs> effort and weeb shit? You can, you can do high effort weeb shit. Like it is possible. Also, you don't need to necessarily have like a degree in graphic design to make a decent key set either. You just need time and effort and a little bit of taste. Pronky is mad that she isn't allowed in the stream room. I know, I'm so sorry. Make streamer hydrate, hydrate, I'm here for you, friend. Dude, okay. Speaking of design, look at this fucking packaging on this energy drink. Like, can you not? Look at how nice that looks. I, okay. So raise your hand in chat if you are the type of person who buys something in the grocery store because it looks cool. <laughs> it's me, I'll admit it, it drives Alan crazy. <laughs> of course, right? Like, oh my God, it drives him nuts. We'll be like walking through the store and he'll just hear me go, woo! And he'll just roll his eyes and turn around and know that I'm about to grab something that has nice packaging, but we totally don't need. She saw Hello Kitty candy and almost bought like 10 packs. They don't need to fucking know that. <laughs> don't expect. 
Oh, it's me. Works with me on beer, though. Everybody has their, their Achilles heel. Opening drink near PCV, Green Savage, as long as it's not plugged in, it does not matter. I promise. Here. Built-in coaster. Woo! That's nice. I heard you showed the bee. Of course I showed the bee. Are you kidding? He's he's right here. Hold on. Let's let's make the big old face can. Jeez, what? Y'all. <laughs> Don't tell me you're actually free look look at Oh! Oh! Is it good? It tastes like if grape, you know grape candy? It tastes like if grape candy actually tasted good and didn't taste like cough syrup. I literally screamed, oh my fucking god, we showed him up close. Shade to stay. He's so cute. Also, look at what, if you guys miss, missed it, look at what somebody else made. Oh, it's, uh, oh no, 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 I forgot your name. It's me, uh, Miro? Yeah, Moro, thank you. Sorry, I scrolled up and found you. So cute. Mmm, purple. It tastes like purple. Yeah. No, that's a great way to describe it. I'm doing some self-learning about color theory and design. Hopefully I can design something later. I know for sure designing keycaps is not just to pick a few colors I like. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of people think it is, which I think is a bit of a slap in the face of anybody who actually spends time and effort designing key sets, but, you know. It is like the flavor of the Concord grape. Yeah, but if it was like actually grape flavored and not like cough syrup flavored, you know what I mean? Also, Alex. Yeah, Alex. Wait, hold on. I have two people I need to VIP in chat. One sec. Nice. Wait, I always spell Chris's name wrong. <laughs> Hold on. I have to like look over at my Discord PMs. Okay. Got it. I think. Either that or we just modded or modded VIP to random person. I didn't take your VIP away, you're just modded, Trey. Don't come for me, Super Switch. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back for it. Three, no, five months, three months straight. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I want all the badges. So I am actually currently looking into getting custom badges and like fixing our sub badges as well. Cause right now everybody's showing is the same, which is not fair. So um, we are working on that. Unfortunately, they're quite expensive. Getting emotes and badges made, nice ones, is kind of pricey, so uh, it might take a while. Also, most of the good artists are like booked to hell and back. So if any of you make really cute art or have any experience making emotes, hit me up, I will pay you. Um, or if you know of anybody who like needs more attention, hit me up and I will pay you. Cause I mean, these artists are amazing and like you deserve to be paid for your work, absolutely. But it's really hard for me to stomach like 40 bucks an emo and having to wait like three months to get it right now. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> I make emotes. I love your emotes. Existential yours. I thought it would have been more than 40 bucks like a badge or emote. Dude, I'm looking at having to make like. 30 emotes. 30 emotes at 40 bucks an emote? That's quite a lot of cash. I don't know how much you think I make on Twitch, but that ain't it, Chief. How long will this stream be? Probably quite a while, Rekami. We have to insert and solder a lot of components. So I'm thinking probably three to four hours. I didn't know you were an emote hoarder. N Solomon, I just don't think you understand how much how many emotes and badges and shit there are. <laughs> Comfy stream? Hell yeah. Tuck in. Grab some hot chocolate. We're just talking. 
We'll do all emotes for Kiko. Hot chalky. Hell yeah, Kilo Gino. School sucks. I'm Draxan, would you scroll into my about page and say that again here real quick? I am currently fighting tooth and nail to get back into school and you wanna come here and tell me school sucks? Fuck you. Don't flex on me. <laughs> you got me sneaking into chat during work. Oh thank you, Kimchi Jody Boy. Do you just bend the diodes next to the ends of the diode? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. So, like I said, um, you can, generally speaking, get it pretty... Like, it's just muscle memory at this point, but basically, I take my... Ooh, 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 ooh. I take my... Pan, and I just bend it like that. And I just bend it like that. And then that is the perfect width for putting in the PCB. Rip computer crashed. Is it my computer or your computer? <laughs> Alex, you can't say that to me in chat after my last stream. <laughs> you were here for that. Don't do this to me. Hi, Wired Controller. Welcome back. Uh, if you ever link us another dead cute puppy's Instagram again, I will literally murder you. What happens? So we had- oh, by the way, we did figure out what happens. Uh, I got a PM from the designer of the PCV, basically saying that the PCV is a power hog, and what was going on is, is my computer is so shitty, and that particular PCV is such a drain on the power that you have, that the PCV was taking all of the power from my PSU, and depriving it from the other USB ports, which is why they would like shut down or lock down. <laughs> Feels terrible. Also, welcome back, SMQ boys. Thank you so much for your sub. I'm so sorry I nearly missed that. Welcome back for six months. Why does the PCB need so much power? So it uses, like, I shit you not, something like 70, I, I wanna say between 70 and 80, no, more than that, almost 90 RGB LEDs uh, at like full brightness as well. So it just <laughs> munches. I'm sorry, wired controller. Should I let that go? Because I'm, I'm just not completely healed over it. <gasps> Why you bully me, man? This is bully stream. We are just here to bully. <laughs> that is our per You thought you were here to watch me build keyboards? No, sir. Thank you so much for the three bits, Trey. I heard there was a scam train going on. Hell yeah, there is. There's two minutes left. To get it to level two. Do whatever you want to do. Hype trains make me feel weird. I thought that was the mod's job. You know. A little bit of both. Koden Teshi, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, dude. I thought this was just a switch looping channel. Okay, J-Man. I don't think I deserved that. What did I do to you, huh? <laughs> She's too busy, bully. Oh my god. My mods, bless their hearts, are giving me such a hard time. Because I have been, like, really busy the past two weeks trying to get, like, everything caught up with orders and, like, get the last of our giveaways out and, like, get shit taken care of. So I have... I have a bunch of shit that I've been working on. I've literally been working um, like 15, 16 hour days. Literally sat on my ass in this room all day from seven until nine or 10. Um, so when you've seen me stream the past week, I've literally been in the room since seven o'clock that morning uh, until after stream ends. Same thing with today. <laughs> I haven't left this room beyond to like go pick up stuff for stream. Um, so like, 
because of that, they've been giving me so much shit. Because I haven't been around and they've had to like carry my ass, bless their hearts. Is this a key build channel? I only tune in for the food and TV talk. Yeah. This isn't- I'm not building a keyboard, I'm building a coaster. I'm only here for Ono's next typing test. Save up your channel points, boys. It's the only way he's gonna come on stream. What do you think will be the most difficult part of putting together the gingham? Um, so I think for most people, again, I could honestly do this in my sleep, but um, I think most people will have issues with the type C uh, part. So if you look at the pins, they are quite small and very close together and therefore really easy to bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and try and show you guys how to do it without flux. Uh, but if you are buying a gingham and you want to have like a little bit of a safety net, uh, I'm also going to show you how to do it with flux and how to fix any like problems that you run into. Weird flex, but okay. What, me doing it in my sleep? That's not a flex, dude. That's just me being honest. I built so many through the whole boards. That on the board is too thick for the part, right? I, yes, it is ever so slightly too chunky. But we'll get to that. Drag solder hype. So we're actually not gonna drag solder because um, drag soldering can actually be quite hard for people. Um, so I'm just gonna show you, well, kind of drag solder, but not really. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you how to like fix any shorts that happen if you dry solder without any flux. Because again, I feel like most people won't have flux. Also, I totally screwed up this one day. Hold on, it looks ugly. Can we, can we all just like take a pause and <laughs> look at the devolution of my my diode bending skills. There's like a clear point where I stopped paying attention. <laughs> Looks fine, you know, solid, decent job. You know, maybe a couple that I would go back and fix if this was a client board, but certainly nothing that won't work. And then weren't. <laughs> if Barry hates pizza, what? Who's spreading lies and deceit? Pizza's like one of my favorite foods. I was one of the winners of your Summerthon giveaway. I was just wondering how long will it take to get my prize? So I was just talking about that, Exheimer. Most of the prizes are out. Um, I have unfortunately had to hound a few vendors um, who are supposed to ship the prizes themselves. So that has been taking up most of my time. Once I'm able to get those people to ship their shit, um, then I will be able to get the last of the ones that I am shipping. So you are either waiting for a vendor uh, or for me, because my time is being taken up by hounding certain vendors. But I promise I am actively working on it. Literally just packaged another like five today. So I apologize. There were well over 50 that I'm having to ship and it was a lot more of a drain on my time and money than expected. Um, so bear with me. We're working on it. I haven't forgotten you. Wigitalis, thank you so much for that tier one sub. I appreciate it, sir. Remember, your chat hates pizza, and a streamer's chat is a representation of the streamer themselves, therefore, a berry hates pizza. Look. If that's true, then I have some major fucking problems. Because some of y'all need Jesus. Who legit hates pizza? Rape. I ran out of beer, that's a terrible feeling, I'm so sorry. Who thinks soup is a waste of time? You're a waste of time, Birdo, what the hell? Oh, Alex, oh, okay. <laughs> Carry on. I didn't know we were bullying Alex, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no way, bro, don't come back. I'm so sorry. My bad. Soup is a waste of time, only if it doesn't have stuff in it. Wired controller, soup doesn't have stuff in it. It's just boiled water. It's not soup. Chowders are the bomb, though. Chowders and stews make me very happy. Oh no. Oh no. I'm having an uprising. I am not a waste of time. Wait, do you think soup is a waste? Oh, oh! Oh! Because his name is Soupy, guys. See, I know if you're a little bit slow, you might not have gotten that initially. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I make a bomb bean soup with chorizo and spices. Hell yeah, you do. Dude, uh, stop making me hungry. I have not had lunch or dinner. Bullying mods. Yeah. Are, uh, are you guys feeling all right, mods? <laughs> it's so fucking hot and I got no AC. Feels terrible, dude. A really nice fancy ramen soup would be so good right now. Fancy? I would kill for some fucking cheesy ramen out the bag. Or, uh, shin ramen. Red package. I... <laughs> So the other day I went to Target. What did, what was I even picking up? It was like a single- oh, I needed an SD card for my camera. Um, I went to Target to pick up an SD card because I needed it like then. Um, and so I went there for the one thing and I walked out with an SD card, a coffee cup that doesn't spill because I needed my coffee but I didn't want to like spill on anything. I wanted to have like, like here and like 12 packs of red bag shit ramen. <laughs> I still feel like that wasn't enough though, you know? <laughs> I'm not making you ramen. Okay, buddy. Who asked you? I'm making me ramen because I'm strong and independent and don't need no man. They overcharged Shin Roman at the American grocery stores. Fucking tell me about it. I paid like a dollar eighteen a pack. You can get it for way cheaper at Asian Marts. Here's the thing though, you can't. Uh, every Asian Mart near me sells it for the exact same price. Sixty cents a pack, baby. Okay, don't flex your fucking cheap ramen prices at me. I paid two dollars each yesterday at H Mart. I'm sure it depends on like where you're located too. Just buy real tonkatsu ramen. From where? Wired controller. What brand Shin Ramen? Nongshin? I think so. I don't. Know. It's the red pack Shin Ramen. Now I want a big piece of skirt steak. Ah yes. APA keyboard streams, where we inevitably devolve into food. Not even in the first half. Like a ramen restaurant, don't you have those? Imagine having open restaurants in the middle of a plague. Y'all, okay, I love ramen. Don't get me wrong. Like, I do. I love me restaurant food. But I am not about to fucking risk the death virus for a thing of ramen. No, thank you. I'll stick with my, uh... I'll stick with my, uh, packaged ramen for now. Lube with bacon fat, then you can eat your switches. Okay, Jackson, you know what? If somebody donates, you know, a hundred thousand bits. No, what was it? 10k bits? If someone donates 10k bits, we will lube a switch with bacon grease. Until then, 
No. Rich people, where you at? <laughs> it's not Ono, so nobody's gonna be putting up their wallet. It's not happening. I've been doing a good bit of takeout. Uh, I wish I had the wallet for takeout on HB. <laughs> Risk it for the biscuit. Normally, I would agree with you. I thought you were going to say that you're going to eat it at 10k bits. Nah, dude. And the point is to not make it worth the 10k bits. <laughs> Eat a stem for 100k bits? No. <laughs> I'm not trying to die for like... What is 100k bits? A thousand dollars? That wouldn't even color my hospital bill. <laughs> Eat a keyboard for 1 million bits. <laughs> we'll make a keyboard waffle or something. You'd be dead, so what? Hospital bill? Uh, that's optimistic thinking, wired controller. Uh, I admire it, but I don't, I don't, uh, have your flair for looking on the bright side. There was the waffle iron that made waffles in the shape of keyboards, yee. You said you'd die it, not me. Get out of here with your facts and logic. How many bits to eat a new GMK box? Like a whole one or just like part of one? Why am I even considering this? <laughs> Why is Twitch fucking done to me? I'm uh, quitting. <laughs> Y'all, can you tell where I started to like lose my attention? Hold on. <laughs> Look at the look at the front half. Pretty goddamn straight overall. A few here and there that are a little eh. Then <laughs> you just see the last couple of rows. Whoop. It'll work. I'm an attorney, that's like our whole thing. Oh. I guess. When I get my own place, I will buy that waffle iron, the whole thing. <laughs> but like, were you considering buying half of a waffle iron? Just a little nibble, okay. For a little nibble of the new GMK boxes, uh, I will use ketchup. Uh, potentially a fork and a knife on a plate uh, is another 10k bits. <laughs> we're, we're pricing, are, are we just seeing like where my lines are? <laughs> this is a scary precedent I'm setting. Eating pizza with a fork and knife is 500 IQ. No. Imagine being able to restrain yourself around pizza to the point where you use a fork and knife. <laughs> Cannot relate at all. Debating where my wallet draws the line. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. It's so late here in Spain, so I'm going to bed. Have a great rest of the stream, Apiary. Thank you so much, friend Suso, and thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate you. Sri Racha's adult ketchup. No, fry sauce is adult ketchup. Do not add me. I grab pizza by the middle of the slice and shove it into my mouth. just hot. I like the way you think, sir. Frozen pizza at 10 a.m. is so good. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Oh god. Please tell me you stick it in the oven. Gotta roll with the pizza so it unfurls in my stomach. That way it just lines it. You can fit more pizza that way. I'm getting pizza for the office tomorrow. Give me topping ideas, please. Okay. Do you like your job? That is the question that you have to ask. I wish I I just had cold pizza for dinner. Lord have mercy. 
why do people eat cold pizza? Follow up question. Why do people just leave their pizza on the counter? It's just a pizza popsicle. Can I get a ban on Mr. HTC Dragon, please? Thank you, mods. Cold pizza is actually good the next day? No, it's fucking not. As Mac Miller said, Kool-Aid and frozen pizza. You can't hit me with the Mac quotes. That's illegal. Cold pizza is so good. I've never legitimately, like very rarely am I truly, genuinely, actually disgusted by my chat. Usually it's just like one or two of you and my mods are pretty quick to ban them. The unadulterated, terrible fucking takes in my chat right now is legitimately making me want to bomb a little. Thanks for tuning into my gingham stream. Uh, unfortunately, due to the excessive amount of hatred in my chat uh, and frankly vile statements, uh, I think we're gonna have to end a little bit early. Um, I apologize to any of you who didn't participate uh, in the nonsense, but uh, I think we're just gonna have to call it here, Chief. JK, kinda. <laughs> I did nothing, I don't eat cold pizza, I'm not a heathen. Okay, Obsidian brought us back. It feels like I'm in an elementary school getting scolded. I mean, if you like cold pizza, you fucking deserve it. Shredded alpacas and 205G zero sauce. That's what we're here for. Olivia! <laughs> Welcome. Apiary has the most toxic chat in the cube community. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse you. Don't get me wrong. My chat is a bunch of DGens. But have you seen some of these chats? My chat's fucking amazing. They send me B plushies and fucking hand-painted signs. Are you kidding me? Hear me out, I've had a bite of cold pizza while I wait for it to eat up. Yeah, all right. So like, I understand that super switch. I understand like when you wait too long to eat food and you're desperate. And so you just have a little bit of cold pizza and then you chuck it in, you know, the oven or the microwave, whatever. Like, I, I understand that. Sometimes you're starving. Like, I understand the desperation, but if you are choosing to have cold pizza, uh, I have several psychologists I can refer you to uh, if you're in that much need of help. I put my pizza in the freezer before I eat it. Cold pizza is pretty degenerate, so this is why I like Olivia and I don't like the rest of you, chat. Super Switch is okay too. Just a little much to keep you busy while the damn pizza is right. Yeah, 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 okay. I follow, I follow. Does this mean a piece of deep dish is like a pizza cake, aka dessert? No, spider. But deep dish is pretty goddamn good. Gluten free pizza does not reheat well. I don't think I've ever tried gluten free pizza. I tried cauliflower crust pizza. That was pretty goddamn good. <laughs> so cold. Can we stop hurting me, please? Cold pizza eaters have just been marked as they should be. Is cereal a soup? Where you dropped on your head as a baby. <laughs> Is this coming from the same sort of person who asks, are hot dogs a sandwich? <laughs> not sure if you've seen the K-drama, it's okay to not be okay. The pizza shown in the drama is so visually pleasing. I haven't seen that. I don't really watch K-drama because I'm afraid of my uh, boyfriend calling me a Korea boo. Opinion on pineapple on pizza. I'm, you know what, I'm here for it in moderation. Like it's not my go-to choice, but I'll eat it. You didn't have to call me out like that on the hot dog question. I'm sorry, Sandra. <laughs> I love you, but also, come on. The real heathens are those that put milk in before the cereal. Yeah, we can agree on that. I heat my overnight pizza on a sandwich griller. Thank you, 10 Peaches. I feel like all the girls in chat 
are the people with the good ta- oh my god. <laughs> Objective Lazarus, what did you just donate 10k bits for? I have the one that I'm okay with, and I have the one I'm really hoping it's not. <laughs> Fucking hell. There are people who eat cereal with water too. Uh... I thought today was gonna be an Iron 165 build. Thought wave. I don't have a one Iron 165. How am I gonna build one? If I eat cereal without milk, am I the worst? Okay, cereal without milk is fine. Like if you eat it dry, it's totally fine. If you eat it with like water or like orange juice, you know, I love you, but I'm probably going to give you a little bit of side eye, at least internally. <laughs> Do you put it in the bowl? I feel like eating dry cereal out of the bowl is okay. Objective last was make her eat the GMK box. The silence is deafening, can I just say? <laughs> Fun question for the chat. Do you have any weird quirks with food? Watch him just have been like really nice and just want to like support the stream and donate 10k bits and he doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, right though, right? I know my chat. <laughs> Only eating the marshmallows and Lucky Charms, that's... Cassian, that's the fucking point of Lucky Charms is you eat the marshmallows and leave the disgusting Odie bits. Water with cereal is pretty weird, champ. Yeah. Anyone else smell water before drinking it? Why is this just gonna be my entire face for the entire stream? Just... Excuse you, sir? I, oh god, we gotta write up. Okay, I pour the milk in from one side of the bowl. I immediately begin eating from that side of the bowl. Then going deeper into the bowl and under the exposed cereal on the other side. That way the cereal is equally soaked and crispy and you don't get those disgusting soggy bits. I like the way you think, John. I'm gesturing with this. <laughs> Whichever is easier for you to do, Apiary. I mean, I don't currently have bacon grease. Neither do I have a GMK tray on hand. So, like, we have to save up either way. Either we wait until GMK Cafe gets delivered uh, for the GMK tray. Or we wait until I make some bacon so we can get some bacon grease. <laughs> Entirely up to you, sir. She's gonna beat you with the PCV. I get, I do get heated sometimes, but I would, I would never uh, beat someone with a PCV because the PCV would break, and it deserves better than that. Or you can make bacon now on stream. On stream bacon cooking. <laughs> Great way to ruin some expensive cameras. Did you say bacon pancakes? No, but I'm here for it. Not having a jar of bacon grease on hand. We just moved, so we just threw ours out. I'm sorry. Also, welcome, Silk. So you'd beat someone with something other than a PCB? Yeah, like a soggy noodle. <laughs> You what? Oh no. I just hurt Grim. Very badly. Cooking stream when? Do you know how much like prep and time cooking streams take? If I am this disorganized for a fucking build stream, why do you think a, a cooking stream is a good idea? I was mildly considering uh, I was like mildly considering potentially baking some cookies on stream this week, but we'll see. I am not making any promises. I see you have a Razor Viper Ultimate. Would you recommend it? Because I was looking into getting it or the G Pro Wireless. I like it a lot. So I have quite small hands uh, and I like light mice because I play a lot of, like the games that I play on PC are all FPSs. Um, don't come for me, PC Master Race, but everything else I prefer to play on a console because then I can like snuggle up on a couch, cuddle my cat, rather than just like be sat in the same place that I work all day. Um, so yeah, um, so because I 
play FPSs mostly. I like a light mouse. Get the Viper Ultimate, it's better than the G Pro. I've had both and I have large hands. There you go. Wired controller. Chime in with the large hand opinion. I love soggy water. Trey, what the fuck? What the fuck does soggy water mean? Large hand, weird flex. It's not weird. Uh. I got given the exact amount of diodes. I would maybe suggest in the future giving like two or three extra diodes because it's pretty easy to like bend these in a way that they get kind of ugly. They'll still work, but they get kind of ugly and so you want to like redo them. But if you don't have enough diodes, then you just get stuck with an ugly one. Also, people new to this can very easily break the glass in between the two and that obviously makes the diode like unusable. So a few spares is not a bad idea. Just, just a quick note. Is water wet? I wanna make, <laughs> I wanna make a your mom joke, but I also don't wanna be like legitimately rude. And your mom jokes are so scary because you never know if somebody's mom like passed away or something. So just know the thought was there, but I chose not to because I'm a big person, all right? I like my water crisp. Is a fish in water wet? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why? 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 I've never understood this sort of question. Uh, are we Socrates? <laughs> why are we asking pointless questions? <laughs> Y'all are a bunch of philosophy majors. Get out of here. This is a keyboard stream. <laughs> If they leave the water, they're wet until they're not. Yeah, all right. I was on. Oh wait, <laughs> Berto is getting fucking shit on tonight. I'm so sorry, Berto. I didn't know. Don't come for me. Wait, this is a keyboard stream. I thought it was chat about food stream. <laughs> yeah, while building a coaster. Oh no, we're having a philosophical discussion in Twitch chat. <laughs> what is wrong with my audience? <laughs> we should really do a cooking stream, that way we can talk about keyboards all stream. Good point. Alright, so any of y'all who are watching, I'm just going to ask you to not judge uh, my diode bending skills, because I really lost it toward the end. I promise I do a better job than this usually. Uh, we're, I just, I, I cannot be asked. Conan, thank you so much for the single bit. I think. There's always something suspicious about a single bit. Like, what are you trying? He's up to something. I heard cookies, uh oh. Why is it suspicious? I don't know. I think it might be a me problem. <laughs> but it's always like, how do you even get like a single? I don't think you can buy single bits. How do they happen? <laughs> so, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. One sec. One sec. Thank you for letting me know, guys. I don't know what happened there. We'll figure it out, though. I think it might have overheated because it's kind of a little, it's a little toasty in here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Give me one second to get it back up. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> Cam was getting steamy listening to all this raunchy food talk. Can't blame him, let's be honest. Alright, let's see if we can fix this sad bent diode. Metaphysics is like a ball of yarn for Twitch chat for some reason. Or Twitch chat for some reason. Is... Is, is water wet a metaphysical question? <laughs> Camera yeeted out after your blasphemous opinions on pizza. Excuse you. Blasphemy? It's been a long time since I've been accused of blasphemy. <laughs> is space wet? I am really holding back on the your mom jokes right now. I need you to not tempt me. I'm trying to be an adult here and you're making it really hard. <laughs> Do it, you won't. Ken, you're a terrible influence. I'm, I'm trying to get partnered right now, okay, buddy? Don't ruin this for me over my inability to be an adult. <laughs> Tomatoes on pizza is really good. My wife hates it, though. I, wait. Tomatoes on pizza is like one of the core tenets of pizza. I, I, does your wife just like hate sauce? A pizza without tomato is just flatbread exactly. <laughs> like what? Here's a hot take, we don't have enough focaccia in life. Oh yeah, no, that's not hot. That's just the truth. All right, so there's two ways that you can solder diodes. I actually personally prefer to solder my diodes when they're bent. Um, for me, that makes it easier to keep them in place. If you unbend them, then they could potentially fall out of place. If you clip them now, you could potentially run into issues. So I like soldering them in well bent. Um, it's up to you whether you solder them from the front or the back. Because aesthetic is something that's important to me, uh, more often than not, I actually solder from the front. Um, sometimes I solder from the back. I think it is preferred, technically speaking, that you solder it from the back, but that can make things hard on you. Um, for this, we will be soldering from the back because I expect that's what most people will do. Um, but... Time to fire up our totally not Heiko <laughs> soldering iron that I paid Heiko money for. Does the front look better? I can show you the difference between the two if you want, Draxion, since it's just mine. I don't mind doing that. Um, let me find my thin solder, if I can. If not, we'll just use the thick one. I can make that work. But I would recommend that you use thin for certain components here. Here's my thin, here's my thick. We'll use the thick, I think, maybe, for the diodes. We'll try and use thick for most things. I don't actually normally use thick for diodes because you don't need it. Where did you get the Faco from? Uh, I purchased it from Amazon. It was supposed to be Heiko, but it's not. <laughs> It's like a really cheap replica, and it's really sad. I don't want to talk about it. I got ripped off. So, when you're soldering from the back, if you keep them bent while you do it, um, you're going to want to make sure that the legs are not overlapping. And that you try and keep them as close to straight up in the air while you're soldering as possible. Did you contact Amazon? I haven't yet, Jamin. I haven't had time. Time is a real issue for me right now. to bend the legs outwards rather than inwards to make this a little bit easier. Um, I bend them in just because that's my habit, but if you are going to be soldering them from the back, that is not necessarily a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> 
Thank you, Trey, for adding those comments. I appreciate you, dude. Next debate, flats or drums? What, what is that in reference to? Is this some audio thing that I don't know? Alex, translate for me. Honestly, if you contact Amazon directly, they might give you a straight up refund, especially if you point out that you can't just return it because you make your living off of it. We'll see. Again, it's more of a time issue rather than an I don't want to issue, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, I could contact Amazon or I could do work. <laughs> Wings. <laughs> Why solo temp? Not that it wouldn't work. Just everyone used to everyone using 350. Um, so I recommend that you go at the lowest temperature that you can get the solder to flow quickly and evenly at. I'm actually not soldering at the temperature right now because this iron is again pretty cheap and so I've had to crank up the temperature to get at that. I don't recommend that you just start at a temperature. Um, you need to find a temperature where your iron works in the environment that you are in with the solder you are using, the thing that you are soldering and the pads that you're soldering on, where your solder flows extremely quickly, um, but at the lowest temperature that it does that, if that makes sense. If anybody tells you solder at this temperature, they're either oversimplifying it for you or they don't know what they're doing. Could also just be well out of calibration. That might be it too. You're totally right. Super easy. Because <laughs> right now, uh, according to my soldering station, in order for it to flow reasonably, uh, I am currently at 850 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Which is not the case. So we're, we're doing something uh, here. Yeah, it wrong. Exactly. I'm very aware of the fact that it's wrong. I just don't know how to fix it. Just a casual 454 degrees Celsius. Exactly. Yeah. Hi, I'm Prongy, meow. Yeah, I know. A little tidbit about the TS100. It's actually a little lower compared to OLED panels. So my 350 is more like 330-ish. Fun. Could you recalibrate? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea, but the question is how? But I guess the what usually isn't the hard part. The how is. That's just a life lesson. Soldering temp temperature, or soldering temp tester. I just use my finger, dude. Like, yeah. That feels about hot now. <laughs> what kind of bougie shit is this? What finger? I gotta use my tongue. I don't touch it. I just hold it over it. Come on. She actually has no feeling in your fingertips. See, you're joking. <laughs> But at a certain point, you just get used to burning yourself. <laughs> she actually doesn't have fingers, they are tentacles. I'm gonna make that kind of content here. <laughs> Yep, okay. So the last couple of diodes that I soldered, uh, I unbent a little too much, and you can see what happens when you do that. <laughs> fucked up our pretty little lines. In fact, a lot of them got fucked up. This is why I prefer to do it from the top. Um, I haven't yet figured out a way to make that not happen, so we're just gonna have to go through, reheat them, and like pull on the wires and adjust them accordingly. 
feels terrible, dude. I kind of want to switch to the front, to be honest. If any of you have ideas, I'm open to trying them. Because I hate this. Are you using a smaller tip for soldering the diodes? I'm using the same tip that I always do. I figured it's a lot more useful that way. My idea is that I bring you some chocolate milk. I would appreciate that. Gingham doesn't support sync in HHKB, right? I do not believe it does. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and adjust these from the front. And from here on out, I'm just gonna go ahead and solder these from the front. I hate soldering from the back. Can you show us how you do it from the front? Absolutely, dude. Let me go through and fix these real quick. <laughs> and then we'll do the rest from the front. Hold on. Some of these are gonna be a little whack, but that's okay. We still love them. If this was a, a, a client board, I would spend a lot more time on this, but this is my personal board, so it's whatever. If it bothers me, I can fix it later. I have one that fell over on its side. Do they look drastically different when soldered from the front as compared from the back? You'll see solder on the front. That's the difference, as you'll see it on the front. Um, beyond that, it's just a lot easier to keep neat and tidy. Otherwise, you can have issues with them falling like I did. There we go. Much better. Now they're seating, like, snug. Maybe I should leave this first round where they kind of got a little fucked up. That way you can see the difference. <laughs> Should I do that? We'll do that. Okay. Then we can go through and fix them afterwards. All right, let's see if I can zoom y'all in. Let's see how good the zoom on this is. That's as far as it goes, boys. All right, so you can see where they got fucked up. <laughs> Feels terrible. And then from here on out, we should be able to keep them fairly straight. leave this side because it popped out a little bit. I'm gonna pop it back in before we solder it. So I should mention this isn't necessarily recommended. <laughs> it's technically wrong but also it'll still work just fine. Exclamation point temperature too, but I also just gave a dialogue about how I think asking that question is quite silly. Uh, no, like, nothing against you, just, you know, it depends on your iron, your environment. I would say start a low temperature and just continue incrementing it up in increments of like 50 degrees maybe, um, according to how quickly the solder is flowing. You basically want it the lowest temperature at which the solder flows the quickest. I cry. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I'm here for you, don't worry. So you can see while you solder it, the diode does kind of want to wiggle around. If yours does that, like mine just did, you can just take some tweezers and hold it while reheating the joint and just pull it back.
part of why I like soldering for their fun. It's a lot easier to make those minute adjustments if you're fucking OCD. You ever run out of graham crackers, you gotta make s'mores burritos instead? Trey, who raised you? What the hell is a s'mores burrito? What? My mom and dad? Did they hurt you? Cause like... Same, but also, I'm here for you. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna make sure that these backs are reasonably flush and then we're gonna go through and do them. So if I missed this earlier, what are the main pros and cons between soldering the diodes from the front and the back? Just aesthetics or is one easier than the other? Um, it's mainly just aesthetics. Uh, I, I feel like it's easier when you solder from the front. But that's my personal opinion. I suggest you try both and see which works for you. Do keep in mind that I believe technically soldering them from the front is incorrect. Technically. A super user can confirm or deny. <laughs> I may or may not have drawn up a hand lettered weave sticker. <laughs> Super Switch. I thought we were friends. I thought, like, I trusted you. I thought we had, like, a good thing going. You had to go and stab me in the back like this. Honestly, how dare you? My hand slipped ice or oh okay. <laughs> that do how be how it be sometimes. Some of these are absolutely tilting me, so I'm just I'm gonna go through and fix them real quick. If we can. If not, we're just gonna leave them and maybe straighten them out a little bit and just be frustrated in their general direction. It's fine. I may or may not have turned you into a meme. Trey, what the fuck did you do? Also, I already am a meme, don't even. Just a giant joke. Alright. 
just want to at least get these straight, even if they're not completely seated. <laughs> and then I'll deal with the rest later. They'll work. They just won't be pretty. Alrighty. So here, oh, I'm sorry. That was all done off camera. So here's the final product from the top, like I said. It is a little bit aesthetic. Technically, I believe it is wrong to solder them from the front top. They'll still work. Um, if you solder them from the back, they shouldn't have the solder showing through on the front. The only reason why these do is because I went ahead and touched them back up from the top. They should look a bit more like, oh, sorry. Oh, you can't really see those holes, but a bit more like these holes where there's not like solder leaking through. All right, we're going to zoom you out now because this is uncomfortably close. Hi, Sergeant Taco. How are you, dude? Hopefully doing well. Fingers crossed. All right, now we're going to go ahead and bend these legs straight up and start clipping them. Definitely don't try to clip these when they're still bent down. <laughs> you will make an absolute fucking mess of your PCB. Should I tell- oh god, what have you guys done? <laughs> now I'm scared. Oh no. Man, it is a good goddamn thing I like you. Camera, excellent! I love it when we overheat. Why does it keep doing that? It's just that toasty in here, I guess. It's getting hot in here. So don't eat cold pizza, you fucking weirdo. I feel like my face is just so ugly. To Guys, okay. I'm really sensitive about this and I'm not kidding you. Look, I'm incredibly vain. And so I'm incredibly vain, but also I'm incredibly ugly. Um, so streaming is like a struggle for me. Uh, so I'm having a really bad hair day today. And so I'm really fucking sensitive about it. And so I just need to let you guys know this so nobody mentions it because I'm not I'm not exaggerating and I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I am the vainest and ugliest person I know which is a terrible fucking converse, like combination. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you know <laughs> you want to struggle bus. Oh, I appreciate it, guys, but like, <laughs> but we can be honest here. <laughs> you have no idea how much I can relate to that. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad somebody understands me. <laughs> All right, so I'm using my meaty side snips. Um, these ones, uh, if you use the tiny, tiny, like electronics ones, those do work but you will absolutely chew them up. Um, also, they could like hurt your PCV, so just be aware of that. Um, it's a lot better, I think, to not necessarily get it completely flush, but also not scratch the shit out of your PCV. Um, my two cents. I think we need to think about Think. The Think 6.5 v2, hey Derzo, we are actually building one on stream uh, on Thursday, should be. Uh, we're having some shipping issues. <laughs> What's new? 
uh, who goes together like bread and butter. Me and shipping issues. Um, so we're having some shipping issues with getting it here on time. Fingers crossed it'll arrive on time, but we should be streaming uh, on Thursday. So if you want to see that before you buy it, I believe they are working out how to reserve some spots for people who watch my stream. Um, so there's that. Don't worry, I'll check the tracking enough for both of us. Thank you, Inert. If I yell at DHL, will they clean my, clear my board through customs faster? You know, I had a customer who, I've had several, I've had several packages go through DHL. I had one who yelled at DHL every day, despite me telling them not to. And I had one who simply waited and guess whose package got delivered quicker. It wasn't Yelly Man. <laughs> It was the one who wasn't a penis. It's hard because after 12 or so more hours, the unlimited portion of that group buy ends. I understand. morals to my stories on stream guys and I'm just gonna summarize them so that if you want to like never watch another stream of mine again you don't have to the moral of the story is generally speaking don't be a penis put that on some merch don't be a penis i'm pretty sure that's been done before but i'll think about it can you please do a think build without foam uh sure what you're so <laughs> 10 peaches i appreciate the 100 bits but Or like a sound test whenever you do that for YouTube. I'll think about it. I, I want to see what like comes in. I want to look over the board and then I'll decide from there. Uh, if I think it'll sound booty without the foam and it ships with foam and was designed around using foam, I'm probably going to use foam. I want to represent the product accurately to how it was designed, if that makes sense. The louder the better. <laughs> Thank you for the bit, Sergeant Taco. I think that's 14, but I counted really quick, so if I fucked up, I'm sorry. Damn, those bits are cute. Look at those doggos. Apiary merch? Like most things. It's in the work, Nate. It's in the work. We'll probably group by it and then maybe stock some later. Because I don't think I have the cash money to, like... I am not Nathan. <laughs> so I can't just foot the bill for merch, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits, whoever you are. I appreciate it. Looking to buy trash pandas, really? I have some that you can just have for free. No need to pay for that. <laughs> Just gonna chuck them in the trash anyway. But Nathan said he needed to sell some mechs to front the money for his merch. Well, I don't have any mechs I'm willing to sell, so. Or can sell. <laughs> Thank you for another seven bits. Whoever you are, I appreciate you. Also, the anonymous bit badge is so fucking cute. I was going to get a thing 6.5, but I think I will save money and try to get a J01 when that group buy runs. Hey, you do you, boo. As long as you get a keyboard that you're gonna love, I'm happy for you. 
I think both boards are very different, but both should be very good. Else I wouldn't be showing a prototype on stream. <laughs> Inert, thank you so much for the 407 bits. The unicorn bits too, hell yeah, dude. Damn, bits have so many cute like emoji things. Wish this keyboard had a 65% layout. Well, sir, may I introduce you to the discipline? By a, a different designer, but still generally same idea in a 65% layout. There we go. This should be much quicker to stiff now. Thoughts on the upcoming protozoa discipline, case in PCD. Would you link me? If Cozy's designing it, I'm sure it'll be good. There's a lot of designers that I just inherently trust uh, their products. Cozy's one of them, Yayan Car is one of them, AIO3 is one of them, Gok is one of them, Wilbur is one of them, who else? Poner, Zamumon. Who else? I'm trying to think. Beep? Well, Beep doesn't design keyboards, though. I'm talking like keyboards and PCBs. Key sets are different. Is a 6.25U only? Yes. It does, however, I believe support ISO. Tiny? <laughs> you know, normally I would agree with you, <laughs> but I have a bone to pick with that man right now. <laughs> he makes good shit, but I'm a little salty right now. Trapu's cat, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Camera, did it die again? Are you fucking serious? I'm tilted. What the hell is going on? Why can't I just have like one non scuffed stream? All right, like why does the world hate me? <laughs> oh, I just stepped on my loop station. I think we just broke it. <laughs> Not gonna look. I'm not gonna fucking look. I'm just. <laughs> Another broken equipment, exactly. Kilo Gino. <laughs> I normally have it up against the side of my desk, and I guess it fell over and I just stepped on it. Could have been worse. I can super glue that. <laughs> Sorry, Q. Time to get another one. Yeah, let me just. <laughs> hey, Q, can you strap another lube station to the back of the fucking slow ass turtles that you use to ship whatever products you sell? Maybe I'll get it in six months. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Licky Lips, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> if you never look, then it's not broken. I like it. What's going on with vacates stabs? Hold on, let me scroll up, Sarah. I missed it. I was too busy stepping on my shit. I lived my stabs with 205G0 instead of dielectric and they sound much better. Is this everyone else's experience? You know, it's 100% preference. Uh, it's It depends on like how you lube and like what you do. And it just, it's 100% preference. You do what makes you happy. That's all that matters about keyboards. Don't use super glue, use acrylic glue. There's acrylic glue. Am I gonna have to buy something separate though? Cause I, like, I have a super glue. I never am able to use it before it dries up in time. So anytime I can use super glue, I go for it. Because like, 
Otherwise, it's gonna dry on me. Plus, how many... I really hope I don't have that many situations where I need to use acrylic-specific glue. What stitches were you planning on using for the six, Think 6.5 V2? I am planning currently on using a Gatoron inks for the stream. I feel like they are a kind of switch that most everybody at least is okay with, if not outright likes. Um, and so that's why I wanted to go with that one. Um, we will, however, be doing a sound test video at a later date with uh, each of the five most common switches right now. My five favorite switches as well. So that's Gat Black Inks uh, Creams. Uh, I just purchased some. Uh, rip my wallet. Um, and then... Oh, by the way, if any of you need switches, uh, Novel Keys sneakily restocked inks and creams. Now that I've got mine, I can tell you. Uh, so if you need them, go get them. Um, they didn't ping everyone or tell anyone they were restocking, so they might still be there. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing T1s, alpacas, inks if I didn't already say them, and holy pandas. What is that, six? Something like that. You weren't supposed to tell them. I mean... How long do you want me to sit on that tray? <laughs> Waiting for the bloodbath over switches tomorrow? Oh, the wets and the dries? I mean, they're just JWKs. Wait, they're called the dries and the silks, right? I guess you can't call switches wet, or else uh, you can have a, a time. How do you clean the factory lube off your holy pandas alpacas? So I don't clean them off the alpacas. I don't think the alpacas are egregiously factory lube. It's pretty average amounts of factory lube. Uh, most switches come factory lube, by the way. Um, just holy pandas are especially terrible. Um, and by most, I mean nearly all. Uh, I think the number of switches that don't come factory lubed, uh, I could put on one hand. Also, I just realized we've been running without a face cam this whole time. Um, I could put on one hand. But when I clean holy pandas, because those are switches that I do clean the factory loop off of, uh, I use an ultrasonic cleaner. You can remove it manually as well if you don't have and don't want to purchase an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, buy some pipe cleaners and go to town for a couple hours. Or buy a cheap ultrasonic cleaner and carefully run them through a few times. You want to use um, distilled water, um, <laughs> distilled water, and, uh, you want to be careful when running through them through that the machine doesn't get too hot or it can make your switches quite fragile. I was rebuilding a board by a, a builder who's going to remain unnamed, but who streams and builds keyboards on Twitch. Um, and I was pulling apart the switches so that I could clean them and relube them for somebody. Um, and as I was pulling them out of the plate, the switch legs were cracking. So before I even like cracked the switch, the switch legs were cracking off and I was like, what the hell is this? Um, turns out that they cleaned them multiple times. They ran them through this machine multiple times to get all the lube off because they had a cheaper machine and they didn't wait for the machine to cool and so they baked the switches so that they were fragile. Whoops. Did our camera die again? I don't know what's going on here. It's like seriously, I have no fucking clue. We're gonna try something real quick. Uh, I should have turned that off before I did that. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, bear with me. We're gonna have black screens of desk for a second. Um, and then hopefully maybe we should come back all right. 
I just need to perform some camera surgery. I think I know how to fix this. Um, basically, one of these cameras throws a fit when I use one of the AC car adapters on it, and the other one is okay, and I think I accidentally swapped them to the wrong one is the wrong one, if that makes sense. Okay. Can you one second go? Scary. seconds then hopefully we'll be unscuffed permanently <laughs> fingers crossed okay face cam should be back give me a second on the desk cam Sorry, setting these up always takes fucking forever. Oh, now you're seeing the cable. Back to it then. Did you run your camera in the ultrasonic cleaner without letting it cool? No, I did not. Thanks for asking though. I appreciate the help troubleshooting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my like really nifty, like tight side snips. So right now we have these cut, but not cut flush by any stretch of the imagination. We're gonna go through and cut them flush now. I just wanted to get the majority of it out of the way. Uh, before we went in with like the cleanup. I know this is kind of a ridiculous new long amount of time and you really don't have to do it, it, it like this. Uh, I'm just a little bit, you know. <laughs> I need everything like straight and nice. So bear with me. I used my nice side snips the other day and I misplaced them. What's new? Actually, I think Alan might have stolen them. At which point in time the searching is doing nothing. snip them real tight. We'll just leave them like this till I can find them. It's not a big deal. Do switch holes remind you of paws? I can see where you're coming from. I don't necessarily like a hundred percent agree, but I can see where you're coming from. Alright, we're gonna leave these gnarly ends 
on. I'll fix them after stream. I just don't want to waste time right now. All right, so now we're gonna solder the resistors. These should be. Ooh, this is a tiny picture, Yanka. <laughs> Hold on. Got it. black, red, and brown resistors. There should be three of them. So that is these brown, black, red, and brown. These ones. Oh. There you go. What are your thoughts on the P3D case for the gingham? Would you link me, Fatality? I apologize. What's the story behind the channel name? Um, I like these. I like that these work hard. I like that these are majorly female. <laughs> and so I felt like it fit my ethos and myself for the channel. Finally finished my Ortho 60 with lubed and filmed blacks. No going back now. Hell yeah. All right, let me click on this. Why does that feel super expensive for a 3D printed case? I don't know if it actually is. But for some reason it feels like it is. Especially for like, it's a 3D printed case and then you're paying what, $85 for the kit itself? So now you're all of a sudden in like $200 on an FR4 case with a 3D printed or a 3D printed case with like a, a plate and components. I don't know, but uh, it's not for me. All right, 10K ohm goes in R6, R5, and also, <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Again, each one of these is numbered. So you can see where we're putting the 10K. There is a 10K and a 10K. So it makes it pretty stupid proof. Watch me fuck it up now. It would only be right. Ah, okay. The last one goes in R4. Resistor 4 slot. Uh, now, resistors should not be direction dependent. So you can just shove it in however. Uh, just, you know, try to make it pretty. She changes the story every time? What do you mean? Changes the story on what? <laughs> Never call something idiot proof. Someone will always build a better idiot. Fair. <laughs> that better idiot is usually me. Just shove it in here, however, just make it look pretty. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't need to be oriented in any specific way, just do it nicely. Treat your electronics like a lady, you know? Or a man. Everybody likes being treated nicely. <laughs> Generally speaking, it's customary to have all of the uh, components on your PCV facing the same direction. It's not necessary, always. It's just nice. Um, so if you, I mean, if you do, want to consider uh, putting them all the same way, but again, it's not necessary. It's just nice. All right, next we are doing the 1.5K, I believe. No, the 5.1K, we just did the 1.5K. Sorry, I'm looking at like a really small screen because I have everything to like run the stream up as well. Basically on like one monitor. <laughs> so bear with me a little bit here.
And again, the places is marked with, uh, places is. The places are marked with solder mask on the PC view. 65 isn't too bad for 3D printing, but yeah, if you're getting near 200, then an NK65 will look much nicer. Yeah, I think it also depends on what you want. Do you want something that feels super DIY? Or are you just in it for a keyboard? Are you in it for the experience or in it for the keyboard? I'm in it to ruin my credit score. Bad. Asian dude, bad. <laughs> No, we are here to make our credit scores nice. We want to buy houses in the future. I support your financial well-being. Don't spend money you don't have on keyboards. Alex Sotos is currently hanging on by the skin of his teeth to his debuilding uh, service. So if you are in need of somebody to take the keycaps off of your keyboard, please consider Alex Sotos' professional debuilding services. Uh, he would very much appreciate it. We are here to support a brother. I can take all your caps off and send it to you. Please consider Hell Yeah Cozy. Welcome, what a time to join us. We're building a gingham right now. Uh, Cause he just has a nose for three whole kits, I think. <laughs> Keyboards aren't a viable investment for retirement. I am screwed, dude, same. these both in and then we're gonna do our last round of resistors and probably solder before this gets a little a little messy Slouching for too long. The same. Always. Yeah, it feels bad. Bad posture gang rise up. Only hunchbacks here. Alright, I don't want none of you healthy people. I'm a hockey goaltender, so my body is used to it. I should have probably guessed that, considering your name is University of Michigan Hockey. <laughs> Makes sense. Checks out. I, I believe you. <laughs> new to the whole keyboard thing, but I just bought the new White Ice Edition GMMK by Glorious PCs. It's a hot swap board, mainly got it to figure out which switches I like. Kind of a noob. I feel like a GMMK is like a good beginner hot swap pre-built. I have nothing against GMMKs. They're good for what they are. They do their job well. My job is to be a cheap, easy, hot swappable keyboard. Do they do their job better than drop? I think so. They're also cheaper. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> All 
All right, once again, with your diodes, make sure you're paying attention to the direction, the orientation. These are not like resistors, which don't have an orientation, so you wanna line up that black bar with the way the solder mask is on your PC. Alternatively, the black bar goes toward the square hole. black band on this Zener diode is a little bit faded, so that's chill. I must be in the seemingly rare group with nothing bad to say about my experiences with the job. I just can't recommend them to beginners because I feel like there's better options for your money. I also have heard horror stories uh, from people who have worked with them about the way they treat their designers. Whether or not those are true though, I don't know. I can only focus on what I do know, which is that the quality for the money for drops in-house boards uh, ain't it, Chief, in my opinion. Alright. We now have our Zener diodes in and our resistors in. I'm going to stop here, solder these, and clip them. That way we don't have like a mess of wires going on too badly. Uh, and keep things generally manageable. I don't suggest, technically you could, but I don't suggest you put all the components in at once. I wouldn't buy a board from them to be fair. Well, that's what we're talking about, streaming fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, their fulfillment has some issues too, but I don't think they're exceptionally bad. Uh, I more have issues with their in-house made products. If you have a smaller tip, I do recommend that you use it when building this keyboard. Because you have so many small components, you'll get better heat distribution that way. And so your joints will just be a little bit happier. Um, I just wanted to use my normal tip because I know a lot of people aren't about to, you know, hop out and grab a whole new tip to solder their board. So I kind of wanted to do it the way that I would expect you to potentially do it if you were to build one. Um, not necessarily like the best way to build this, if that makes sense. more rather than just trying to guess what people want. I feel like people are there to tell them. It's just either they don't want to listen or there's some sort of like money issue going on. I don't know which it is. Uh, I'm sad though because I feel like, I mean, when I first started, Drop was like the major retailer for keyboard stuff. And I feel like they've kind of been left behind and they had like this, they were poised to be like really amazing not just for themselves but also for the community but really i feel like the best two things that they've done in the past couple of years is buy geek hack and not put ads on it and bring back holy pandas and that's it <laughs> But holy pandas were potentially happening without them, and, <laughs> you know, so I guess really the only thing I can commend them on is something that has nothing to do with their products. <laughs> it 
Admittedly, though, still a really, a really good move by then. I'm still waiting for the holy pandas I bought a couple of months ago. Yeah, but I mean, waiting is just part of the keyboard hobby. It's annoying and frustrating to be sure, but I can't necessarily knock them for having you wait when just about everybody right now is having you wait. You know what I mean? A little more communication would be nice, but... I live in the same city where drop is. Oof. Do you ever just see your stuff waiting in a warehouse and be like, I can pick it up. Let me come by, I swear. All right, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I'm not super happy with the build I'm doing tonight. I think I'm just tired. <laughs> it's not the worst. It'll definitely work. I just don't feel like it's my best through whole work. Maybe I'm out of practice. We have some like not properly seated diodes. Again, like everything will work. This is a big deal, but it's not necessarily up to my standards. You guys go. It's all right, it's mine. It's not a client's build. If it was a client's build, I would have stopped a long time ago and come back to it tomorrow. I'm sorry, I ain't car. <laughs> I'm just tired. All right, so we're gonna grab our 22 capacitors. Now, you need to be careful with these. These are really easy to break. They're basically like a little piece of clay between two metal legs. And so if you overbend these or if you put any stress on that metal bit, it will crack and it will no longer work. So be gentle with this. We're gonna very gently press it in. And we're gonna very gently hold the bottom and over direct the legs slightly, not completely even, just enough to keep it in place. I live five minutes from the key company. I've asked if they could just come pick up my orders in person so I don't have to pay shipping. No one's gonna do that. I mean, it's just such a headache and such a nightmare for them. No one's gonna do that. It'd be very kind of them to allow you to do that. I would certainly never expect it. It's ceramic, not clay. Is there a way to get standoff on this board? So it comes with standoffs. So we will be putting standoffs on it to finish the rest. Trey's purpose in life is to make yours a living hell. Yeah. He's a pedantic little shit, but it's fine. He's our pedantic little shit. Did you know Trey has probably been watching me longer than any of you? <laughs> he has been watching since I've had like 10 viewers at a, a per stream. Are you in a year yet, Trey? I sold a cable today and it turns out the guy lives like 20 minutes away. I have, I've had three clients, three, we them three who we found out actually live like five minutes away and several that are still close but not that close but three like I went to mail them back their board and I look at their address and I'm like excuse me I don't live in a big city either three stalkers no only one of those All right, we're gonna put the rest of our uh, caps in. Wait, why are these marked? Hold on. Okay. Meow. 
I'm like trying to do this in the order of of the uh, build guide so if people need to they can refer back to this to like see how to build it but like everything in me is screaming at me to like just go for it and not check the guide because we'd save so much time um so you may not notice but i'm putting all the markings on these uh inward so as much as i can i'm making sure that the like 104 on these and like the whatever the numbers on these are facing the other components. That way you don't have to see the number. I prefer it that way. If you're not as touchy about it as me, then don't worry about it. <laughs> you, Mitch, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome back. Is this a USB-C board? It is. We will be soldering in the USB-C sh port shortly. I'm having to over direct these legs a little bit more than I super much feel comfortable with, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and solder this. Okay, how long have you been modding? Really long. Wait. Have you not been modding for more than two or three months? I guess not, huh? I swear I made you a mod ages ago. I don't know why I feel that way. But you know, I think Trey is one of my longest time viewers. We have Red Bat pop in here on occasion. Red Bat's like super OG. He is like the one by his name and everything. Again, be super careful with these caps super easy to break you want to be very very gentle with them all right next is our fuse you again want to be careful with this again this doesn't i, I didn't mention this for the caps but they also don't have uh any particular orientation same with the fuse Should I pull it through? I always debate pulling it properly through or just leaving it sticking out. I think I'm gonna leave it sticking out because it's less fussy that way. And I don't, I really don't wanna break the fuse on stream. <laughs> what is the angle on the board with the rubber feet? Uh huh? Is that What, what board? This keyboard is sexy. I wish the discipline had that pattern. Cozy. Write that down. <laughs> so usually I'll uh, solder in the fuse like this and then I'll bend it over so it doesn't have any issues. That way you're putting less like stress on this midpoint right here where it's liable to crack. I believe in the guide, yeah, and car has it pushed all the way down, but I don't personally like that I'd rather just bend it over but you do you following guys isn't necessarily a bad thing so it was a little bit crooked so I'm just reflowing it to make it not crooked so we'll bend that over to make the uh, clearance for the rest of the parts possible later all right are we soldering the crystal yet because that's my favorite thing to solder no, we're soldering the buttons. Ugh. Okay. I just tried to coil my custom cable and burn myself with the heat gun. Welcome to my life, Asian dude. I'm sorry though, burns suck. Gingham screen, very cute. How does it feel to be told that your your keyboard isn't as good because it doesn't have a pattern? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Was that a little bit rude, probably? I'm sorry, Cozy, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> okay. 
I just got my Rama U80A and have Telios NK creams, NK blueberries, or holy pandas. I can't decide which would you pick if you could only choose one. So I feel like for an integrated plate, I would just go full on like holy wait, is the U80 integrated? I don't think it is actually. I'm gonna lie on my pants on fire. I would still potentially go full holy pandas. It isn't? Yeah. <laughs> my bad. I'm gonna have Kate knocking on my door. <laughs> crystal! Crystal soldering time! I don't know why this is like my favorite thing. It's just so satisfying. Like you have this with its tiny little legs and it just sits and looks so nice. Is that weird? It's probably a little weird. How would you describe the feel of T1 switches? Um. I think it's less of a pronounced bump than Holy Pandas or Chilios. Um, so I like it for that reason. But this stir a little like nice and aggressive. So just a bit gentler. Oh, that's really not all the way in. <laughs> Hold on. That's the problem with doing the fuses and everything first, is they kind of stick out. It makes it hard for the crystal to like properly see. I would actually say maybe do the crystal before you do the caps and the fuse. That way you can seed it without having to do what I just did. All right. USB-C port, all right. I'm gonna zoom you in for this. All right. So, let's zoom you in. Excuse the pile of diode legs. I should clean this up, but we're just gonna let this be. Is there more pronounced than MX clears? Absolutely. MX clears are quite a very gentle bump. Most, most tactile switches, especially enthusiast tactile switches, are much more pronounced than MX clears. All right, I hope that gets you close enough to see. All right, so we're gonna take this out of the packaging. I didn't know Cozy was here, I love my discipline. You're fine. You're fine. Cozy's a sweetheart. I promise he's not going to care. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and place this. Which might be the tricky part. There we go. All right. So it does look like... No, there's enough room. So if you wanted to, you could grab a piece of electrical tape and tape this down so that you're good. I'm not going to. But that's not necessarily a bad idea. Just for the record. Oh, I just bumped it out of place. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bend the fuse over while I can. So it's not sticking out and making issues. Hold on. I need to set this down at like the edge. And then kind of shimmy it over since I'm not using- You know what? Maybe we use tape. It feels kind of dumb not to, but just in case somebody didn't have tape, I was thinking maybe, but who the fuck doesn't have tape? Okay, use some electrical tape. If you don't have electrical tape, scotch tape might work if you're desperate. Masking tape isn't necessarily a bad idea. Just find some tape. Do yourself a favor. I might use packing tape. Cam? Son of a bitch, dude. I thought I fixed it. Is it getting like bumped or nudged? Like, seriously, what's going on here? I'm getting so frustrated. I know it doesn't seem like it, but believe me, I'm extraordinarily frustrated right now. I hate having shitty streams. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. I'm zooming. Hi, Hugo. 
Hugo, I have a bone to pick with you. I, I, I need to, I need to talk to you for a second, mister. Cause someone told me you once said something along the lines of, if you were a girl, you would have so many more viewers. Is that true? Cause buddy, we're gonna have a long chat after stream if that was true. steals my tape so much. <laughs> oh no. The real toxic thing was I said I wouldn't raid X Y. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> you can't tell, but I've actually already found my tape. I'm just hiding under my desk because Interesting. I think Hugo Keys wants to wear dresses. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, um, so don't come for me. We're gonna use a band-aid. <laughs> Cause all I have is band-aids for band-aid modding and honestly, they're just chilling. And this will work just fine. <laughs> so we're gonna use a band-aid to hold the, the USB-C port in place. <laughs> honestly, did a better job than my electrical tape would. <laughs> All right, so there's our USB-C port. Did our camera die again? It was uncomfortable too, the both of us. Work better than the camera. Yeah, this is the new Band-Aid mod. No, like, in all seriousness, and I apologize for, like, I kind of was going to try and transition it into a joke and then just didn't feel right. Um, I do get that a lot, and it kind of really sucks. Because I put in a lot of fucking work. I know it doesn't seem like it, because I'm constantly scuffed. <laughs> but I do put in, like, like, a lot of work and a lot of time to try and, like, make my stream nice. And so when somebody even, like, jokingly says it's just because you're female, that kind of hurts, you know? But that's okay. I I didn't think you were necessarily even like referring to me. I didn't mean to like make this serious. It has literally nothing to do with comparing myself against you, like I said. Like I don't necessarily like this isn't necessarily like you. <laughs> I I hope I'm not seeming like I have like a big big head because I don't think you were talking about me. But, but I have come across that from other people and it kind of super sucks even hearing it being said about other people Because I know how bad it sucks to have it be said about you All right, so we're going through we're doing this by hands with no flux because I want to show you that it can be done Basically, you're gonna want to take a very thin solder With your iron uh, if you use a thick one, you still can do it. I'll show you you can do it, but you're much, much likelier... Likelier? Is that a word? You're much more likely to get bridges. And you just need to be really careful and really quick and really slow. If you're worried, what you can do is you can put a tiny amount of solder, tiny amount of solder on your iron and then on here. I don't recommend that because your flux will burn off, but you can. 
Uh, also, you want to make sure that you're constantly cleaning your iron. If you do get a bridge, so I just uh, bridged these two, I'll show you. If you do get a bridge, what you're going to want to do... Hold on. See these two right here, they're ever so slightly connected. You're just going to take your iron, you're going to run it down the middle, and you're going to kind of flick it, if that makes sense. Just got to go quick and slow. I should say quick and careful, if that makes sense. Uh, slowly bring your solder in so you can be controlled with it, but you don't want to touch it for too long or go too hard or else you could bridge, if that makes sense. If you put too much solder, it's going to bridge very quickly. So just like that. And oh, fuck, I was off screen, okay. <laughs> this is hard zoomed in. I'm used to having so much more work, uh, room to work, okay. <laughs> We're gonna bridge him again. There you go, proper bridged. And then you're gonna go ahead and take your iron down the middle and just flick it. The best ways to dump a lot of flux on first, yes. Um, exactly what Wilbur said. I'm just trying to show for the people who don't have flux. <laughs> My girlfriend just said you go apiary after hearing you in the other room. Oh no. I, 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 like, I sincerely, Hugo, like, legit, I'm gonna be serious for one second, then we're gonna go back to the, I apologize, I didn't mean to turn it into something serious, and I hope you don't feel called out, because that was not my intention at all, okay? Okay. <laughs> my bad. I just, adjacently, uh, yeah, I felt, it felt wrong to not say something, so I don't know. I apologize if I handled that poorly. I definitely did. <laughs> I'm upset at this weird reconstituted context that was not true. Okay. Then let's chalk it up to something without context and leave it at that. But side note, <laughs> it does suck when people say that because there are people who say it seriously. Alrighty. I'm gonna go through and clean up some of the joints where I put a little bit too much solder. I'll go ahead and point them out for you if I can. We, I don't have a macro lens, so we can't get crazy, crazy close and have it still focus. But if you look at it from the side, and again, I do want to restate the fact that a lot of these pins are not clipped flush. I don't have my absolute flush clutters with me right now. I will clip them flush later, so don't come for me for that. I'm here to show you these. So some of these are quite spiky. You see that? Those have too much solder on them. I'm going to go through it and clean up that excess solder without bridging stuff and then we'll continue with the build. Now let's talk about politics. What's up with Kanye? What's always, what, what is always up with Kanye? Captain York. If you do get the sort of like Hershey's kiss, like dropleting, going on uh sometimes what can happen is is if there is not enough flux um it can kind of want to do that so that's where your flux comes in um you can also if you do have flux um and again like this isn't necessarily something that'll cause issues it's just technically not correct uh, for various reasons so if you don't have flux and you're getting that don't worry about it but if you do have flux and i highly recommend you get flux for this build specifically for this reason um, use it before you even start, 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 start soldering and your life will be so much better. Um, I hopefully I made that look somewhat easy, but I know it's not for a lot of people. Um, so flux helps and flux is like a dollar a pen on Amazon or something ridiculous. So it is worth it. Um, so I personally recommend not this brand, but rosin flux pens. Don't get this brand. This brand is shit and it leaks everywhere. <laughs> this is just what I had kicking around um so any brand but this but flux pens are really nice because generally speaking you can apply them directly to the pcb with this one it lets out way too much if you press down so you just kind of have to be super careful but if you just put some across the pins before you solder it you'll have a much better time you made it look like we don't need a flux pen you probably need a flux pen But because of that flux pen, I can go through without very much worry about bridging at all and clean up all the excess solder and make my joints look nice super quickly versus like how careful I had to be before. 
weird flux, but whatever, fair. MG is a good brand in general, too bad the pen seems to be leaky. Yeah, so MG, if you buy MG flux, not the pen, or MG like solder is one of the ones that I recommend besides Kester. It's really, really solid blend. Just their specific flux pens have a known and serious issue with not being super great at the way they dispense, but the flux is perfectly fine. Copper braid is also good to use here. Yeah, if you're a wuss. <laughs> But yeah, you're right. Blah, blah. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, uh, shield pins. Um, this is like my least favorite um, because the pins don't go all the way through. It's not gonna do the best job at keeping it in the PCB if you're rough on your USB ports. So I'm going to show you something you can do that is technically not correct. But if you're really paranoid or you tend to switch out cables a lot or something like you might potentially snap off your USB-C port. Um, I can show you how to make it a little bit more secure. This is less of an issue with this one because it is through hole, but this is like an overall kind of, it's not right, but you can do it type of tip. You can put some solder from the top. It's not pretty, but when the PCB is a little bit too thick for the USB-C port that you are using, um, occasionally it's necessary. So just take, again, a really small amount of solder. You want a really fine tip so that you hit the pad rather than just hitting the port. And then just add a tiny bit on the top and it'll kind of secure it a little bit better. Again, not correct, but if you're worried, it works. Don't come for me, thank you. Imagine telling me how to do through hole soldering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Wilba. <laughs> if the solder keeps sticking onto the tip, even though I have cleaned the tip with brass wool and wet sponge, does that mean I have to replace the iron tip? So there will be a little bit of solder that stays on the tip, but it shouldn't be globs. Like, let me clean this because it's actually a little bit and built up. So like, this is a normal amount of solder to have on your tip. This is, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is expected and good and fine, right? There's some on there, but it's basically just tinned. If there's like globs on your tip, after you clean it, I would say you just need to clean it better. I, I would be surprised if that happened. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Wubba got touchy with me. I'm sorry, Wubba. You know I was just giving you a hard time. Whoop is like my Ghostbusters. When something goes wrong, I go whoop. <laughs> Help. All right, so next we're gonna do the uh, other capacitor, the non-ceramic capacitor. I can't say the word, so don't come for me. So you're gonna want the white side at the top. Uh, that is the side that is marked with a negative sign. See that negative sign, white? That goes toward the top. It's also, again, solder masked. It's the short leg. No cam. What's new? I feel old. Trey, you are so young. Don't even. <laughs> How can you feel old when Wilba is here? The Wilbert Tech. Should I just leave this zoomed out, honestly? My face isn't that important. You guys don't care about it, right? I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. I really apologize for the scuff. I know I say this every time we get a little bit scuffed, but I promise. I am much more frustrated by the scuff than you are. Hey, Wilbo, I just- oh no, I can't read that, Wilbo. <laughs> but yeah, that is a conversation that we had. Uh, and similar, multiple times. <laughs> That feeling when your scuffed emote is scuffed. I see you, Kinpala. Fumes are good for you. Make sure, make sure you are using fans. Please. I have one going. 
I like you guys with your lungs and not cancer. So for grabbing my first soldering iron for building keyboards, is it better to have a fine tip over angled? So that's preference. I personally prefer fine because doing this USB-C port with an angled tip, unless you were drag soldering, so unless you had flux, would be really hard. I'm packing for my move, so your scuff is my entertainment. Okay, that helps Ace. Legitimately, I'm not lying when I say this. Whenever I have a scuffed stream, I have to like sit by myself in my room for a couple of minutes and tell myself it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Nobody stopped watching me because my stream was bad because the camera kept turning off. It's okay. If anything, my lack of personality was, was the throttle. <laughs> not sure if that's supposed to like help me or... <laughs> All right, next is the header pins for the IC chips. The sockets, uh, rather. I don't know why I called them pins. They're sockets. I'm sorry if you can hear gamer noises in the background. All right, so when you put these in, you're gonna wanna make sure there's a half moon cut out on the, uh, woo, do, 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 sorry, this is way more zoomed in than I'm used to. There's a half moon cut out on one side. You wanna orient that to, again, the solder mask on the PCB that has the half moon cut out here. And then sometimes these sockets, it's really easy for the pens to get bent. So try and make sure that they're straight before you try putting it in. They'll make your life a lot more easy. More easy? Easier? <laughs> what game is Ono playing? I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, probably golf with friends. <laughs> About top 500 yelling over there. I think he's talking to friends, not like yelling at teammates. He doesn't really yell at teammates. I am old, what's a scuff? Don't worry about it. Uh, scuff is like when something goes wrong, when something's not polished, it's scuffed, if that, if that makes sense. So polished stream goes really smoothly and the scuffed stream is what you're watching right now. Alrighty, so I'm gonna make sure that these sockets are properly seated. Uh, the half moons are oriented according to the uh, screen. Silk screen. <laughs> We're at that point at the night. I think we've been like <laughs> streaming for four hours and words are becoming really hard. Bear with me. Alrighty. use my big solder for this golf with friends is rage inducing easily the most rate right? like i don't get mad at games but i get mad at golf with friends do i need to send him like a be quiet message <laughs> is he okay he's fine he's just getting a little overexcited No, don't let him be. Okay, we'll let him enjoy his night. Just enjoy the sounds of Ono oh screaming in the background. I swear I'm not torturing him. He's playing games with his friends and enjoying himself. <laughs> Luck on the bright side, no crooked cue, so... God damn it. Speaking of golf with friends, when are you going to play again with us mods? As soon as I have time, Trey. Well, I just did a little baby fuck up, which is good because I can show you how to fix the little baby fuck up. Also, did my soldering iron just flop over? <laughs> You're kidding me. Do you mind soldering iron? What, what, what's this? What, what is he doing? <laughs> 
Um, so the little baby fuck up is I got a little bit of solder on the PCB. Not a huge deal. Normally, wouldn't even give a fuck unless it was like a customer build. Um, but honestly, the easiest way to just go in and clean that up is just take your soldering iron and go, yep, and you're fine. I legit mauled sometimes when playing golf with your friends. It's legitimately terribly rage inducing. Is that Glarses? Oh no, he's back, guys. Glarses, I think there's something about you that breaks my stream. I don't know if your brilliance is too brilliant and my cameras are just like used to my shitty like face and presence. So like when you come near, they're just like, oh no, time to fucking go. But every time you come, something's broken. Again, holding these in with something like tape or uh, a band-aid isn't necessarily, maybe not a band-aid, isn't necessarily a terrible idea. Gwar says YouTube content goes hard though. Do you remember, do you guys know who Nathan Zed is? This is like some 2012 YouTube shit. Or like, do you know when like everybody did like skits? That's what Glarce's YouTube videos reminds me of. Welcome, Hanshot. You you've been here. I don't know why you're telling me hi now, but you've been here, Ham. <laughs> or did you just come back? I swear you were here at the beginning of the stream. Don't tell me I'm going insane. Nathan Zed is the guy, how fucking yeah he is. Rip face cam? See, told ya. Glarces comes on, everything breaks. It's a sign. I need to quit my job and make way for the, the new, <laughs> the new better content creators. All right, bear with me, y'all. I'm sorry. Does Apiary have a referral for novel keys? Not at the current moment. The worst part is every time I have to zoom, uh, do this, I have to like re-zoom in. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just gonna see uh, a lot of empty room. <laughs> All right. If I can leave it, if, if it will unscuff the stream. No, the damage is already done, dude. <laughs> They've been exposed to someone better than me. They no longer want to work for me. My mods are writing. My camera's are writing. My lube station's writing. My soldering iron is writing. What's next? Alrighty. Next we do the LEDs. Uh, if you're still with me, I appreciate you. Also, wait, isn't it like 1 a.m.? in the UK. Glarces, what is you doing? All right, so for LEDs, through hole LEDs, whoop, whoop. again, sorry, I'm used to a larger uh, area to work in. Oh, you asked me to zoom you in. Um, wait, I never made the face cam come back again. Um, for LEDs, the long leg is the positive leg. So short leg, square hole. It's 3 a.m. I got off a call and now my sleeping schedule is broken. No, feels bad. 
All right, so what I usually do for LEDs, because you don't really want to bend their legs, is I solder one side of each LED, and then I pull them up while reheating the solder. Again, technically wrong, but it works. Don't come for me. I'm not trying to get a job at NASA. I'm not soldering a space station. Um, this is a keyboard. Sir, this is a Wendy's. So just do that, pop it up. <sighs> Fucking hell. I hate working in this tiny space. Okay. Reheat it and pull up, and that'll get you seated. Then you can do the other side and then go back in and add the extra solder as necessary. Before you do that, make sure it's actually seated. So see how this red one isn't actually because I was being too gentle with it. Reheat the solder, pull up. Let it set. Check again. Not crooked, properly seated. Yay. Hamshot, thank you so much for gifting that tier one sub to True Ron. You want to make sure that you solder the other side before going back and touching up the side that you uh, did the janky shit with, because otherwise it's just gonna fall again. I won't judge you if you forget that. And thank you for gifting one to Glarses as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and snip these legs. <laughs> Poor Glarses is just trying to laugh at some stupid streamer uh, streaming some scuffed shit and y'all are harassing him about his videos. <laughs> Leave him alone. Let him laugh at me in peace. Alrighty, finally, we're gonna go ahead and put the sockets in and then we're gonna test the PCB. <laughs> Cross your fingers for me. Once again, the half moon side should go into the half moon side of the socket. Oh no, having some gamer moments, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's just all cheer him on. Without OMG Doc's band, can I ask where Apiary's accent from? Kind of sounds like a mix of Canadian and Hawaiian. Xmonkey, you are asking the question that I get asked also often. The answer is speech impediment. It's not an accent. I just can't talk. I was dropped on my head as a child, and so I can't enunciate my words. Move over a little to the left, please. Thank you for the direction cameraman. So once again, these icy pins have a tendency to get slightly bent. Don't be afraid to tweak them. Just be gentle. Who's Prongy? Hit exclamation point chat or cat for me, please. Can't talk. We've hit hour four and like my tongue is giving up. <laughs> what are words? This is easily the most frustrating part of the build, is trying to get the, the IC chips all like lined up and good to go. Cause like if you fuck them up, your build's fucked. You have to wait to get more. And again, you really want to be making sure that this half circle bit is facing the half circle bit on the PCB. Every single time. Most important thing. Not a speech impediment, just your parents wanted to give you a special accent that only you have. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> they yeeted me when I was a child. I feel bad about the accent question now, don't. <laughs> Wait, Prongo is here? Oh no, you guys triggered Soupy. No, Prongi isn't here, Soupy. Go, go back to your hole, Mr. Prongo Sim. Happens so often the accent question. Honestly, we should just make it a command so I don't have to feel like an idiot every time. <laughs> like, nah, dude, I don't have an accent. I just can't talk good. <laughs> All 
Alrighty, I think everything's seated and good to go, so cross your fingers that we don't let out the magic smoke. Go ahead and zoom us out now because I hate being zoomed in. And also we don't need to be anymore. Oh, enjoy my legs. There we go. On the plus side, you speak well enough that it can be confused for an accent. Yeah, there we go. I like it. Under your tongue, there's a little piece of flesh that holds your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Mine was extended, so I have a lisp impediment. It feels papegamen. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. We don't believe you. Can you try to do a Canadian or British accent so we can confirm? No, I slipped into Bama once when Trey really triggered me. <laughs> Best British accent, go glasses. Look, man, I like you and I want to keep you here and I don't want to insult you. All right. Plus, like, British accent. Do you want me to sound like a Geordie? Or, like, am I going for London? Are we going, like, very Northern? British accent is so, like, what even is a British accent? London, okay, extra chav. Just gotta talk like I'm, like, have an entire orange in my mouth. Say bruv a lot. Bro. Welsh, please. <laughs> Nobody needs that. I'm sorry to any 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 of my wonderful uh, Welsh friends in chat, but also nobody needs that. <laughs> Try Kiwi. We're not doing accents, guys. Look, I'm already okay. <laughs> I'm already self-conscious enough about how I talk. I don't need to, like, give you guys a reason to attack me. <laughs> oh, we have happy PCB noises and falling cables. Get the fuck on over there. we go. Look, we have little LEDs. I didn't fuck it up. <laughs> what a surprise. All right, I'm going to go ahead and test a couple of these switches. We'll pull up switch there for y'all. Why not? Um... There we go. We're just gonna try a few. I trust it, but it's getting recognized. So that's always a good sign. There we go. All right. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grab stabilizers, which is fun because I recently moved. So wish me luck. This fucking cable. I'm about to have a gamer moment over here. Start sounding like Alan. Half of my family is Scottish. Probably the worst accents I've ever heard from English speakers. Feels bad, man. Yeah, this is a food stream. Accents, accents, accents. It just watch, watch the fucking clip. It's fine. Do Lilo connectors make my keyboard sound better? No, they just cost a fucking shit ton. Um, I'm not salty. You're salty. I'm gonna go grab some saps. Don't be fucking weird. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. The fact that I have to say that tilts me so much. I believe I have a set. Yeah, just right here. This is my emergency stabilizers. Sorry, I have like a box right here and a box right here that I have to step around. Our stream now? Oh shit. Kimpala, I see you. You're on my list. Epsilon Keyboard streamed the New Zealand meetup last week and I watched it and cringed every time when I heard my own voice and my weird Kiwi English on the stream. I watched a lot of that. It was really fun the way he did like the camera angles. Don't worry, I won't be fucking weird. I'll be normal world. Weird. Normal weird is expected. That's fine. Just don't be a fucking weirdo.
Y'all are taking this very innocently, and I appreciate that, but when I say don't be fucking weird, I don't mean like that. Alright. Let us grab our brush and our 205D0, and we will pile on the loop. I just keep forgetting how tall you are. How does it feel to be a cloud breather? I am really tall, yeah. Did anyone get the think? Uh, we are getting one in on Wednesday and building it on Thursday, live on stream. So if you're interested in hearing how the aluminum think sounds with specifically Gator on Inks, hit the follow button. How tall is tall? I am five foot nine. Uh, so five inches taller than average for females? Six foot two. No, thankfully not that tall. I need a custom Limo cable. Anybody have a plug? Uh, Limos are hard. Most people don't offer them because they're expensive and most people don't want them. I dated a 5 foot 11 woman once. Hell yeah, you did. I'm 5 foot 9. Yeah, it's like, it's like not like crazy tall, but it is tall. I was the only girl enthusiast there, so my high pitched voice stood out so much and I hated it. I feel ya, peaches. It's one of those things where, unless you know, it sounds weird, but if you know, you know. I feel you, girl. I wish I was five foot nine. Eh. Rock your height, no matter what it is. If anybody actually cares how tall you are, fuck them. <laughs> I'm five foot nine, youngest, with six foot brother's father. I think my dad's six foot, like on the money. I'm technically five nine in a bit, but nobody cares about the bit. Your back stays warm and pleasant and your, wait. Uh, Hamshot, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, what's it like being the small spoon? Okay. <laughs> Out of context, I don't know what the hell that was about. <laughs> hey, I care about my bits. Overrated. I'm 6'1 and I'm the shortest man in five generations. I feel like 6'1 is plenty tall. I feel like any taller and you start having issues finding pants. Trousers, since Glarcis is here. I got you. <laughs> that was supposed to be funny, but I'm worried it came across as annoying. <laughs> My dad's six foot three and he wears a thirty two inseam. Huh. Long strum, I like it. I don't. I'm fucking tired. I feel like the stream quality is going way down. Not that it was even high to begin with, which just tells you something. it last week. Dude, Trey is on top of cleaning his keyboard. I would desolder and resolder his keyboard without hesitation. The rest of you, maybe not. Can you tell us more about your attic days? What was the weirdest thing you saw in someone's attic? Uh, I didn't tend to see strange things in attics. Um, so for reference, uh, growing up, I pulled uh, cable 
for uh, an alarm company um, that was owned by somebody in my family. Sergeant Taco, thank you so much for those five tier one subs. I appreciate it. Um, so I pulled wire, I pulled cable and addicts, especially when I was a kid because I was quite small and so I could fit in tight spaces. Um, and uh, nothing was ever super weird, but it was always fun when somebody had like roof rats or something. Keep in mind, I was a really small kid. Uh, I was tiny. And so these rats were like easily as big as like my torso sometimes. So that was fucking scary. Um, but as far as like weird things, I never really ran into weird things. I once found a really old Big Mac slept in somebody's roof. Uh, so that's that. It was petrified. So that was gross, but like nothing, nothing terribly strange. I had stream up in a different tab, and when I I, I heard addict, not attic, I was like, whoa, no, 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 attic, like like underneath the roof, but not in the house. <laughs> Big Macs don't decay though, because they're not real food. I think it just got like dehydrated, just turned into a brick. She pulled cable for addicts. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me say attic and attic. Fuck. They sound the same, don't they? Attic and addict. Attic. This is fucking hard. Attic and addict. I get it, I ran coax and telephone lines as a kid for my family's company. Exactly, Sergeant Taco's got me. It's a Utah fight? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's like a mountain. Who says mountain? It's mountain. Us Midwesterners and our lack of enunciation. I do HVAC in South Florida, addicts are my friend. <laughs> Bruh, addicts are not your friend when it's like 120 degrees outside. Cause addicts, god damn it, attics are like at least 20 degrees hotter than it is outside, at least. So you're fucking sweating your balls off, whether or not you have them. Uh, in like 140 and 150 degree heat, if you're lucky. Crawling through fiberglass insulation. So you're fucking itchy. It's dusty. There's roof rats. <laughs> and it's 150 degrees in this fucking oven. And you're pulling like heavy ass cable and trying not to step off these really thin wooden beams so you don't like crash through so many ceiling. It's not fun. <laughs> root or rut? It's root. Root. Roof or roof? Roof. Unfinished attic is miserable, yeah. <laughs> Who says it's a free sauna? Dude, when you're fucking 10? No thank you. You get used to the fiberglass? You know, everyone always told me that. I pulled cable from the age of 10 to the age of 19. I never got used to fiberglass. It always fucking sucked. This sounds illegal. Eh. No child labor laws. I mean, I wasn't an employee. I was I was somebody's child. <laughs> yeah, family businesses. <laughs> Wait, you mean you guys didn't pay your way as a child? Your parents just gave you shit? What the hell? <laughs> Feed them, then it's chores? Yeah, exactly. It was just chores. In GMK Apiary when? Render's coming soon. Not called GMK Apiary though. I paid my way in SAS. <laughs> GMK Apiary is just GMK Gregory, but upside down, no, uh, full leaks right now. It's GMK Gregory, but instead of a Shiba, it's a B. 
This is the art I bring you. That's entirely a lie. I was a goodie two shoes, dude. I feel like when you're working in the heat, everybody's just grumpy, and you don't want to sass when everybody's grumpy and itchy and tired and just wants to get the job done. <laughs> I would actually buy that. Pudsy, don't give me that shit. No, you wouldn't. Nobody would. Also, I wouldn't make that. <laughs> That's on GMK Pono. Um, I have Olivia Dark, and I feel like since I have Olivia Dark, I don't need GMK Pono. They are extremely similar to me. They're not the same, but they're really similar. I like the cats though. Whenever Dale comes out of his cave, I'll make him render it out. Oh God, the world is not ready. Olivia doesn't have cats, no, but she has a robot dog. Artisan looks awesome, but that's it. Artisan looks really awesome. Uh, I'm keeping myself from purchasing it. <laughs> Did she buy the Boston Dynamics dog? No, 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 no. <laughs> she, so we were talking once and she was like, I just almost stepped on, uh, what's his name? Haichi? I was like, who's Haichi? Like, what? She's like, oh, he's my robot dog. And I was like, <laughs> Wait, what? It's just one of those cute little- You remember when you were a kid and you had like little like- They had those really cool like robot dogs that were like itty bitty but like barked and shit? It's just one of those. Super cute. Just got a huge delivery of keyboard soldering goodies. One step closer to first time soldering. Hell yeah, Scary Bean. When you do it, please post pictures in our Discord. Okay, exclamation point discord if you're not there. I'm gonna like finagle you in. I want to see you. Is a non-GMK Kisa actually coming? I don't need more, but I'd support this endeavor. Uh, no. It's, so the set that I'm working on is GMK. I believe I've said that. I want a Roomba so I can put huge googly eyes on it. I support this. I support this wholeheartedly. You're working on a set? I am working on a set. We should have an IC up before August 1st. Hopefully. Don't fucking hold me do that. Just got the thing 6.5 poly in case I can't get a Bauer 2. Man, imagine buying a 600 keyboard, a 600, or 600, sorry, $400 keyboard as a backup. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> also, if you want to see the Think 6.5 in aluminum in action, I am building one this Thursday, hopefully, assuming all goes well with the shipping. So make sure you're following if you want to take a peek at that. Interesting looking board. Yes, this is a through hole board. So if you're new to soldering and want to like practice, or alternatively, if you just want to learn a little bit better about how keyboards work and the components involved, this is a great board to do that on. Sorry, I need to pull something up real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. that you use for the stabs. I'm currently using 205G0. Um, I want to make sure that I, I want to transition to 205G0 for everything. I'm feeling really good about where I have my stabs right now. Um, so we're starting to use that instead just because it lasts better than dielectric. There's talk of closing the Think Group by after the first 24 hours and then reopening it on Friday after Apiary's Thursday stream and Alex Otis's aluminum build on Friday. Good to know. That would be nice, but whatever happens, as long as people get their keyboards, I'm happy. Such a weird way to run it. I think it's to accommodate uh, people who want to wait and see the aluminum version in action. That way they feel a little bit more secure in their purchases.
camera went offline again. I'm so sorry, guys. Man. I know I say this all the time, but it's probably because it happens all the time, but it's just been one of those days, you know? How long it lasts this time? I think it's because Pudsy, they can't leave it completely unlimited, if that makes sense. Um, so they want to make sure that they're not taking on too much, but they still want people to be able to see my builds uh, and allow it to make them a decision. This way they don't feel like they have to buy it now and they can wait till they 100% know what they are getting into. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Two switches on my keyboard died. Replaced switches and it didn't work. Bridged it to and it still does not work. Any ideas? Thank you in advance. That is very strange, King Catch. Can you pop some pictures in the build help channel of the Discord, please? so much demand they would just run the group by for two weeks like they did for the last one yeah there's just not a lot of boards that are very available right now and there's a lot of demand so makes sense already nearly done with stabs i promise the boring part is nearly over <laughs> thanks for hanging in there with me oh wait I was like, shit, are I'll pack his PCB mount? <laughs> Did I lube all these switches? <laughs> and I can't use them? <laughs> if you want to see a proper oh shit face, just rewind the VOD. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sergeant Taco, for watching out for me. I will take a drink in just a second. Alrighty. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pop the stabs and the switches in place. And then we'll get soldering, then we'll have a build, dude. GG easy, only what? How far are we in? Four hours? Thanks to everybody who's sticking it out. I appreciate you. Cyber Voyager ran mid-April and is already wrapping up production. Yeah, it's nice that they're getting stuff done so quick. I can't wait to see how the finished product turns out. I 
I come back to see I've missed the hour of stabs. It was 30 minutes. Don't come for me. <laughs> Rude. Semantics. <laughs> Rude. How do you generally store your switches in bags? Same way I store literally everything else in bags. I have drawers. You see the uh, black containers behind me? Those are all full of keyboard parts. It's so weird not using my Wii has. All stab tuning is an hour of stabs no matter how long it actually takes and who is tuning them. <laughs> Fair. What are the chances they would do another full run if I can't get an extra of the Cyber Voyager? Probably not the exact same board again. Most people try to avoid doing that. Cause then we lose at least like one thing to improve. Stab that wasn't entirely in, that's why I use check. Anyone interested in the type K? Always. Anything Gok makes is going to be good, so of course I'm interested in the type K. I probably won't be by, uh, joining the buy just because I haven't had the chance to really like use that sort of like ergo layout before, so. I don't want to buy in on something that I don't necessarily know I love, if that makes sense. Type K will be in stock too, which is good. Hell yeah, it is. Gok hasn't decided yet. Oh, never mind. Hell? You dropped an O with fluffy bubble. I appreciate you though. Only thing I'm looking forward to is the JR1 Rev1. Really? That's the only thing you're looking forward to? Glarses. That's a bold statement. With all the amazing keyboards coming out and like the Kara, which is supposed to be like super good budget keyboard with a lot of customization and like. Satisfaction 75 round two, and all you care about is the J01. I respect it. I'm super looking forward to the J01. Uh, I bought one of the original 14 uh, of the Protos, so I'm excited to see how Jay's changing it. And by that, I mean that's all my budget will be. Okay, I understand now. I too put on blinders when it comes to keyboards that I can't afford. I like pick one and I'm like, okay, nothing else exists. This is all I got the cash for. Um, this is going to be hard because these are quite loose in these mount holes. Like, uh oh, spaghettios. I might have to do these individually. It feels bad, man. And camera's down? Of course it's down. Why would I- Glarus's talks in chat. Camera goes down. <laughs> camera no like shake? Is that what's going on, maybe? Is it only when I get like really shaky? Hold on. I'm gonna be so tilted. <laughs> Have you tried replacing the cable? <laughs> Funny story, Putsy. <laughs> so this is actually the replacement cable. <laughs> I 
I genuinely didn't know you're fine, Putsy. Don't worry about it. How would you know? It's still dark for some reason. Love to see it. Hello? Camera? God damn. Get a PS4 cable, it's USB mini to HDMI. Yeah, but I don't need USB mini. I need mini HDMI to <laughs> HDMI. All right. Okay, sounds good, Putsy. Are you ready to solder in switches one by one? Damn, these are loose. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's just that one that's loose. No, the rest fell out too. I think that one's just especially loose to make room for the extra switches. Are these loose or are these just tight? Doesn't matter. Get some electrical tape and tape them down. I'm not made of electrical tape. <laughs> I wish, I wish I had enough to do that. Um, Cause it's not a bad idea. I just can't. She only has bad days. Look, <laughs> you didn't need to expose me like that. <laughs> All right. You could have just said, hey, she doesn't have electrical tape right now. But no, you had to go like the full five yards and say, nah, dude. She uses fucking band-aids. <laughs> I trusted you. And what did it get me? Satisfaction 75 must be close now. It should be coming out late this year at Larson's. Hey, Beer, did you see my DMs the other day? If you want to see more overlay stuff, I can send them your way. Honestly, your DMs probably got buried. I'm having an issue with Discord not showing me notifications when I'm getting sent messages. So I've had a couple of, like, important DMs get buried and I'm kind of fucking pissed. I guess Discord isn't made to be a business platform, so I have, like, no reason to be pissed, but I'm still pissed. If I ever don't reply to your DM, like just straight up ignore you or like don't reply to you for more than 24 hours, feel free to talk, like bump it again. That's like across the board. I will never completely ignore you unless you like send me a dick pic or something and then I'll just block you. But beyond that, unless you're being a creep, I won't ignore you. What are your favorite switches? Andrewu, uh, I normally give a list of six. <laughs> so bear with me. Uh, get, get, it depends on like the the context, right? But these are the six that I use in my personal builds. Uh, creams, linears, and alpacas are just generally JWK switches. I also really like Pinocos. Those are both like the cute alpaca switches, or alpaca, <laughs> JWK switches, but there's also Tangies, H1s, uh, dry, silks, mobs those are all made by the same factory and the only major difference is the springs uh generally speaking um and then uh for tactiles uh holy pandas zilios and t1s none of those are stock by the way all of those are lubed and the ones where uh they are jwk switches so that's alpacas and t1s i'm talking lubed and films they very much need films, or else they're gonna be poo-poo. 
Do you know if other people are having that problem on Discord? What do you mean? The not getting notifications? I think some of it tea leaf is I just get so many PMs um, that, you know, maybe they I get notifications and I just don't notice them. Or maybe because I get so many, it doesn't notify me of all of them. I don't know. Um, I, I, it's an issue that I think most people that get kind of swamped in PMs have. Thoughts on Gat Yellows? They're a, they're probably one of the best budget switches on the market. They're probably one of the only, in fact, I'm pretty sure they are the only budget switch that I actually like recommend. If you would tell me you are on a budget, like you have very little money to spend and you want to cheap out on switches, that is the one that I say to go for. The springs are decent. The switches themselves are decent. Uh, they're not great. They're not like comparable to higher end switches, I wouldn't say, but they are the best budget switch in my opinion. Any time to show hell yeah, Birdo, queue up the spawns. I missed the beginning. What comes in the box? I might get this. So all of the components for the board, you get a back plate, which we'll be putting on. You can either uh, have the weeb side or the normal side up, depending on, you know, how much ayayaying you do. And then uh, you also get a case and a screwdriver. There you go. Little EVA case. Um, so I would like to say this again, I've been saying this intermittently, you will see unclipped leads on the back of this. These will be getting clipped, I just don't have my side snips right now. They're outside of the room and I don't want to like leave you guys forever to grab them. I apologize for that. Uh, make sure that you're clipping these flush. I just did like the rough snip rather than like the full snip. Hello, it's nice to be on your stream. Welcome, not Corzin. It's good to see you here. I'm loving my alpacas. The spring's a little light. They trigger with the slightest touch. Nobody tell them about gate cl gat clears. <laughs> Nobody say a fucking word. What happens if you snip too much, honest question? Uh, you'll scratch the PCB a little bit. If you like do really bad, uh, you might damage a trace, but you have to like <laughs> be trying to fuck it up. So about that show, oh, right, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, live on Dixie Mech right now, we have GMK Nuclear Data and also GMK Pono. If you want a throwback green SA set or you're into cats or pink or very dark gray, uh, then check out what Dixie Mech has in stock. If you are purchasing anything from them, please consider using our affiliate link. It gives me kickback and helps me out without any extra cost to you. It means the world. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, it goes toward making my stream less scuffed, so if you want a camera that works, <laughs> help me out. <laughs> um, next on our list, we have the wonderful Kiko. Kiko is currently gearing up and creating their number 265s. Tune into their streams if you would like to see them do that live. Uh, I'm now a mod, so you can look forward to that. Terrible decision. Um, and once they get the rest of their 160s and 165 shipped, they should be rerunning their apparel, which is dope as hell. Uh, I am not kidding when I say it is really fucking high quality. I have a sweatshirt and a shirt and Alan wants the shirt. So wait, as soon as this apparel buy opens, we're going to be buying him the shirt. Um, cause he's fucking mad at me. So there you go. Oh no approved. Uh, next on the list, we have Project Keyboards currently running on Project Keyboards. is another IIA uh, inclusive uh, thing. And it's GMK Sumi. Did I fuck that up? It's cute. Uh, their novelties are great. The set's, of course, amazing. But if y'all want to know what I think goes the hardest out of that set, those death mats are going to make me bankrupt. I just realized I didn't screw in the stab, so I'm gonna do that right now. Um, <laughs> I am seriously like having like a full-on conversation with myself, saying, Marcia, you cannot afford to buy four twenty-five. dollars You cannot afford to spend over a hundred dollars on death mats. I might have done it. Don't come for me. <laughs> They're too cute. I can't help it. Next on our list, we have 
the wonderful Canon Keys currently running on Canon Keys if you like a meme set. It's GMK bread, complete with the get that bread enter key, which is also calling my name, but now no longer because my wallet is literally empty. Um, <laughs> fucking dust mats. Um, and complete with a golden Rama key with a bread basket. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. If you love a brown key set, but you missed out on GMK Cafe and GMK Chocolatier, now is your time to shine. Uh, wooden cases and brass cases would go really well with this. Uh, next on our list we have Mint Autumn, which is currently not running anything, but they are the runner of the Rukia and they are gearing up for some extra special keyboard runs very soon. Uh, should the Rukia with a different material should be running soon and they're also, I heard, well Liberty told me, working on a TKL in some fun plastics, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, next on our list is someone who I actually have new products for to my left it's the wonderful wilbotech wilbotech uh, is the maker of all the best pcbs in the goddamn game uh currently i believe he has oh are the kids sold out actually i believe they are weird flexes are up on daily clack hopefully uh oh <laughs> what happened wait who donated 25 dollars for it what thank you i appreciate it Buy another test mat. Zegra, man, I appreciate it, dude. Restocking soon. Thank you, Wopa. Look, man, the test mats are good. <laughs> Don't come for me. Anyway, Wilba Tech, PCBs, get them. They're good. Especially if you have like a polycarb or acrylic case and you can see your PCB. Prototypist is the next on our list if you are in the EU. Clarsis. Um, I'm looking at you. Um, they are currently the go-to proxy for the key company stuff. Who, so they have, they have the panda plushie live. Have you seen the panda plushie, guys? Hold on. Hold on. This is the best thing to ever come out of this hobby. I'm not joking when I say that. I need to show you guys this. <laughs> because it's fucking adorable. Uh, his name is Pan Pan. He is a holy panda switch. And he's a woo as fuck. Hold on. It's worth it, I promise. I have to move my Olivia plushie. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, switch hitter has been up this entire time and nobody told me. Y'all. There you go. This is Pan Pan. He is adorable. You have to buy him. Thank you. Look at his little face. I want to squish him. Yeah. So if you're in the UK and you don't buy this Pan Pan plushie, I will buy a flight in the middle of a pandemic, fly over there and knock on your door. Thank you. Next on our list, we have... Can... Wait, no. I already said that. Wait, what is this? That's not my sponsored list. That's my affiliates list. My mods are trolling me. <laughs> Next on our list, we have Heine Bush. Heine Bush is your go-to person for anything TKL related. Uh, either PCBs, plates, or occasionally keyboards with bad plates. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm salty. I love you, Heine. Um, if you need an FR for a plate, he currently has some that are compatible with the Jane. Uh, some of you are ballers. I know it. I know who you are. Go buy one. Uh, and also, I believe he has a few H88As, uh, but maybe not. If not, he will be restocking soon. Finally, we have Prime KB, the maker of the wonderful switches that you can see here. The alpacas. Uh, they also current. They don't currently have these, but they are gearing up for a group buy very soon. They have T ones in stock, which are one of my top four switches. So if you need switches, consider purchasing from them. And also, I believe they still have some desk keys films in stock, which is what we use in here. So, if you like the sound of this build, you can buy most of the stuff for the switches from them. And again, we have an affiliate link for them. We have an affiliate link for. I almost said it wrong. 
project keyboard. <laughs> and we also have an affiliate link for Canon keys too. So please consider using those to support the stream. I appreciate it, you guys. Thanks for chilling through my shilling. Mods bad. Mods good. Mods good. We like we like our mods. I just like giving them a hard time. Desky's films are the truth. I'm really enjoying them. Like, seriously, no meme. Is the damn pipe key straight? It better be. We riding again? Wait, don't. Wait, please. I am fragile, Alberto. We should give that new key cult mod a hard time too. Please. Please, I am fragile. I am small. Can we look at Pan Pan again? I feel like no one can be aggressive or mad at me if we look at Pan Pan. Cool, I just bought some from no from Novel Keys. Code Monkey. Novel Keys isn't a sponsor, what are you doing? But you don't un own Pan Pan, so you don't get his protection. I paid money for him. Does that not count? I bought a Pan Pan. I bought a Pan Pan at 3 a.m., but I bought a goddamn Pan Pan. How's your white windows key? My nose is itchy. Weird. Weird how it be sometimes, you know? Just keep Pan Pan on the screen in the bottom corner. That's smart. Pan Pan is greater than Dust Mats, is greater than GMK Bread, is greater than Fruit Rent. Ham, I don't know who gave you license to kill or to come for me, but I don't particularly appreciate it. Also, can you keep your voice down? My boyfriend's in the other room. <laughs> he doesn't know. Nobody tell him. Is this board from the same person who made the Mysterium? It is not, but it is in a similar vein to that sort of board. It is also a through hole kit. Is Cozy still here? Cozy, say hi. Yayan Car, if you are still here, also say hi. Cozy is the maker of the Mysterium. Yayan Car is the maker of the plan. They might have gone to sleep. It's pretty late where Yayan Car is, if I remember correctly. Or early? It's one of the two. <laughs> Ham shot! I said fucking shush. Oh, sorry, sorry, gingham. Thank you, super user. Gingham, gingham, gingham. You're flipping the switch, you're flipping the PCB for every switch is giving me anxiety. Me too, but the uh, legs on the alpacas are too short. Or too small for the PCB, so I have to. Believe me, it's not my, my method of choice either. Actually, let's try it again and see if they fit, because it's looking a little bit tighter now. And it would save me a lot of goddamn time. <laughs> Anxiety is the wrong word. Is it frustration? This board doesn't have a plate? It does not. It is a plateless build. Unless it does have a plate and I didn't receive one. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, no, it's playlist. Pan Pan and Gatoron are the cutest keyboard mascot. Oh, Peaches. I have someone to introduce you to. This is Olive. Olive has a buddy. We're not gonna pull them all the way out or put them all the way in because then we start having a... Uh, we, we might get flagged, but um... He's cute. <laughs> he has a butthole. <laughs> and little legs. <laughs> Much cuter than Gatoron. Possibly cuter than Pan Pan. He just chills on my desk. Damn, I want to say something, but don't do it, Nine. We're all thinking it, but don't ruin Olive, okay? 
Could you use a stiff tray to keep the switches on the plate PCB when you flip it? Probably, but I don't think it's worth the struggle because I would have to like go get one and then hope and pray and maybe I can do two at a time. Hold on. FOMOing hard right now? Good, you should be. Normally I'm like, eh, you know, don't go into debt for keyboards, but keyboard plushies. That's my shit. You basically just combined my two biggest weaknesses in life. Tree Pop is trying to hide uptime. Yeah. Because it just makes me anxious. Like, four hours is too long for me to be streaming. I'm not interesting enough for four hours worth of content. I'm just not. It's a dumb command. All right, we're nearly halfway through. We're gonna try and do two from here on out, see if we can't get this going a little faster. I think I can manage two. This is good though. So this is definitely an issue with tolerances. Um, if you make something in spec of the wider tolerances for switches, um, or things that tend to be out of spec, then all of a sudden it's not in spec for the smaller things. And it's kind of like a trade-off that you have to do. It's frustrating, so. For anyone who's wondering, the spec on these tends to lean toward the wider end. So these would probably be perfect for something like Holy Pandas or Gatoron Inks that tend to be a little bit Nobody saw that. I'm clearly tired. Don't comment. Um, <laughs> this is definitely better for the things that are a little bit on the wider edge of spec. I can't believe I just fucking did that. I've never done that in my entire life. Um, in all my time soldering keyboards. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, uh, <laughs> these are good for fat switches. If your switches are thick, they can be good. If they're a bit thin, so Cherry or JWK switches, you might have some issues. You might have to do what I'm doing. Alternatively, grab a tray. <laughs> do what Olivia was suggesting. I come back with a donut and Obsidian Raid is mad at me. Just ignore Mr. Raid and enjoy your donut. If Prongo streams when, I will throw bits at her, make it hell. I mean, if you'll throw bits at her, I'll go get her. Do you like B-Stars? Was it for me? I tried. I'm here for Netflix anime, but... It weirded me out too much. I apologize. What lube do you like to use for Gap Black inks? I tend to use 205G0. Sanction, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime subscription. Sincerely. I appreciate it, dude. Alright guys, we're at that point where I start to run out of gas. Someone, someone bring up a soapbox topic. Let's go. And get me heated, get me riled so we can get through this. We don't have much further to go. I need your help. Make me angry. Linears are trash. Okay, Kim Paula. I said make me angry, not hurt my feelings. <laughs> that's not that's not something that I can discuss, because that's your personal preference. That just hurts me. Cold pizza. Okay, but we already ranted about cold pizza. Also, another thing where that just kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> when Keyless is OP, okay. 
so like here's the thing when keyless literally looks like somebody lost two teeth and you cannot change my mind about this it looks like somebody with a gap tooth smile and is somebody who is incredibly like anal about that sort of thing i need the fucking keys there it looks stupid I don't understand when key- Also, like, how do you lock your computer? Uh, some of you are gonna say, remap in Marcia. Yeah, but to fucking what? What key don't you use? Like, I need both of my controls. I need my caps lock control and my lower control. I'm not gonna remap map one of those to Windows. Her current keyboard is down one tooth. What do you mean? I bag loop my switches. Okay, the sound of wings. I didn't know you hated yourself that much, but I can understand where you're coming from. If you ever need support, I'm here for you. What's the best gaming switch? Ooh. I said make me angry, not make me absolutely furious. Also, I can't debate that. That just hurts me. MX Browns are tactile. I mean, they are, but they're like a grain of sand in a linear switch tactile. Like, does it really count? Like, technically, yes. But mostly, no. <laughs> Why build keyboards when Macs come with perfect ones already? Uh, uh, a certain keyboard streamer, who will remain unnamed, and I were talking recently, and they said, okay, I can't admit this, but low-key, my MacBook keyboard is my favorite keyboard. It's like the best typing experience I've ever- Like, it's just so comfy. And I love this person very much. But goddamn, if that isn't dirt. So you're judgmental, nice. Oh no, Pony, you can't come for me like that. Now I'm gonna feel bad. Can you use the deed lube to lube switches? What do you mean by deed? Blockers are ugly to be each. Satori, you can stay. In 10 years, do you think you'll look back on your keyboards and wonder where your passion for this pattern went? I hope not. Part of the reason why I love keyboards so much is it's such a new hobby. There's so much to learn where we are right now. There's so much like backwards learning to do, but there's also so much that can be done in the future. So part of the reason why I feel comfortable investing so much time in this particular hobby, because I am the type of person who gets bored with hobbies quite easily I would say like at a certain point with a lot of these things you know you learn everything and then you're just done right you learned everything there's no like new advancements or anything there's not really anything else to learn and that's what I really want out of my hobbies for me is I want to be learning um that's where I find joy and so the fact that this hobby is such like so baby so new that's what really excites me about it, is there's just so much more that can happen. So much more to learn in the future. So I really hope not. If I do, I think it'll probably be a fault of mine and not a fault of the hobbies. Magical girl is gross. Get me banned, Pony. Minterly, she said it on stream yesterday. What did she say on stream, Putsy? I like that. Full brass builds sound better than any other builds. Okay, ham! Okay, uh, Olivia, I need you to cover your ears because I love you. But also, I don't like full brass boys. <laughs> she likes her MacBook keyboard over others. Oh, I wasn't referring to her. That's somebody else. <laughs> Apparently, there's two keyboard streamers who prefer their MacBook keyboards. Damn, what are they putting in the water over at Mac these days? They're coming for the custom keyboard hobby. Cats are better than dogs? That's not a hot take, that's just the truth. If I can't decide whether I like tactiles or linears, what switches would you recommend? Or is this sort of a stupid question? 
I don't think you have to decide which you prefer. Like, I don't have a preference either. I like both. Um, I use both in my boats. I, I'm a strong proponent of you don't have to choose. Oh, let screens and knobs should be taken to the shed. I, I think they have gone a little too far. Uh, I think some people need to step back and realize that a knob is not a design feature. It's just a knob. It doesn't make a keyboard cool just because it has a knob. I feel like I really like the way the Satisfaction 75 implemented it, but after the Satisfaction 75, did it well and got recognized for it. Everybody went fucking crazy and started doing it wrong. Zeal products are priced fairly. You made me so mad that I jiggled the desk and the camera died again. Christopher loops his switches the right amount and all other streamers under loop their switches. Okay, I said I I want these to be somewhat believable. I said make me angry, not make me laugh. about Chris though is, is I can stay like shit like that that normally would come across as really rude and he, he, he won't take it seriously. Like he knows I'm, I'm not like actually mad at him and I really don't care. <laughs> what does the bee and honeycomb represent if anything? So my name is Apiary Keyboards and an Apiary is where you, is like a group of beehives. It's where you keep bees. So that's where that's coming from. Owner doing? He's alright. What does apiary stand for? Like, does it hold any special meaning to you as a person? Uh, yeah. I've talked about it a few times, but not in depth on stream. Uh, basically, I used to keep bees. I like what bees tend to represent for people. I felt like it would work well for me and what I wanted this to be. Plus bees are fucking cute. Have you seen Mason? Should I pull Mason out again? I feel like everybody needs to see Mason. I have a bee tattoo, dude. Fucking same. That feeling when you ordered three 2U stabs instead of four for this board? You can, you can do just three. Just split backspace or split right shift it. You'll be fine. I'll take a pick and send it to you. Do it. It'll really contrast the giant DM I sent before. We, we love a good contrasting uh, moment here. Hot take, band-aid mods are still critical, but builders aren't doing them anymore because lazy. Nah, dude. Builders aren't doing them anymore because they make your stabs feel like poo poo. They're critical if you enjoy typing on fucking melted ice cream. Which, I mean, if you do, no shame. Didn't you also say that Chris lives his switches their normal amount? I'm starting to think that you just really like mush, dude. 
Hopefully you don't feel like I'm coming for you too much. But I'm wondering if maybe your preference is just... Slush. Nobody needs a big right shift, but everyone needs arrow keys. Huh. I don't think everybody needs arrow keys. I normally map it to a function layer here, and then wazd up here. Urban Decay should have stopped making sequels for the Naked palette after the first one. This is a hot take I can get behind. Okay, but like the Naked Blush palette is so nice. All those little pinks. Don't tell me you're not here for the pinks, Olivia. We're talking about makeup, by the way. What can I say? I like typing on the keyboard equivalent of mashed potatoes. Alex Odos can't relate. R.I.P. Puff Puff. Blue headphones, yellow dress, and green hair. This guy has gasp in Brazilian coloring. Gondo, it has been so long. How are you, dude? My favorite X mod. Does that count the cherry? Because I gifted that to a girl once and she at least pretended to like that. I forgot the cherry one existed. <laughs> Just straight up space. How does one apply to be favorite expert? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sitting here, please. <laughs> don't leave me. Oh god, please don't leave me. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I'm literally begging you. Please don't leave me. Wait, do people treat makeup palettes like movie franchises like sequels can ruin the previous versions? Oh, dude. If you think keyboards is like a weird collector space and people spend too much money on keyboards... Y'all, I came to keyboards from makeup. <laughs> when I say I haven't bought any makeup products in over a year and I still have more than I could go through in a fucking lifetime... This is not a lie. Well, time to find a cheaper hobby then. Ooh, headphones. I thought you said cheaper and some, not more expensive. I see those 3K and 5K IEMs and fucking 1K headphone wires. My girlfriend is a pin collector, oof too. I mean, I know that much. My sister is a makeup artist. So I just underestimated the craziness for a moment. Oh, okay, that's fair. We all have, we all have our moments. Anybody who complains about keyboards being weird just has never seen like a niche hobby. There's so many. <laughs> Literally just pick your favorite. They're all at the heart kind of the same. High cost cables are only there for the aesthetic, same with cubes. Ooh, I don't know about the cubes comment. There's definitely a difference between high cost and low cost keyboards. If you disagree, you've probably only typed on bad high cost keyboards. Keep cables, oh, okay. <laughs> Carry on. You are forgiven. Off camera, we're just gonna leave it. I have two more switches. We're gonna leave it till the switches are done at least. Y'all, I'm so tired. 
<laughs> it's 10 o'clock and I have been sitting in this chair since 7? Uh, <laughs> how many hours is that? 12? 15 hours? <laughs> I'm a little fried. My butt fucking hurts. I haven't even had lunch yet. <laughs> I haven't had lunch and it's 10 p.m. I was gonna call you a lightweight. Oh, no. too close to my face there. <laughs> Back it the fuck up, Kev. Much better. Dance Sprout? What? You know what? I've never understood. <laughs> Bear with me here. I've never understood people who buy really expensive guitars and don't even know how to play guitar. <laughs> Like, y'all, I guarantee you, I'm not saying this is you, Pudsy, it just reminded me of this. Um, but I feel like most of the people who have, like, crazy expensive guitars don't know how to play. And they buy them to, like, motivate them to learn. But you aren't gonna be able to, like, appreciate a really expensive guitar until you can play, like, halfway decently. I really wasn't talking about you. It just reminded me of it. I'm so sorry. What's going on? Why? Oh, I don't know. I don't have Frank or face up right now. I just realized I've had this on the wrong screen for the past like hour or something. So I'm so sorry. All right, let's put some key- oh, no, wait. We have to screw this into the case. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like, I cannot express to you how fucking exhausted and burnt I am right now. <laughs> as soon as this stream is over, I'm going to wash my face, put on PJs, and go to bed. I don't even think I'm going to eat dinner. and Just fuck it. <laughs> the nuts and then the headers wait yes wait yes wait Yes. Wait. <laughs> I thought you were done and the only thing left was the ca caps. No, we have to assemble the case. Don't worry, we've got another hour in this. Oh, fuck. I forgot the nut. Don't clip that. Wow, is stream still going? Pog? I don't know if that's a pog, buddy.
Here we go. I believe that is what I meant to do. I'm gonna double check. This is good though. I get to like stupid proof this because I'm really stupid right now. Screw not. Excellent. Okay. I think this is right. <laughs> if it's not, I'm so sorry, Iron Car. Please don't murder me. Epsidian, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Mm. We're gonna wake up. Cause I do be running out of gas though. This is like the, <laughs> the 24 hours stream, like again. So you said this earlier that T, okay, okay, I'll drink, I'll drink. <laughs> so you said earlier that the T1 switches were up there for you. Didn't hear a whole lot about them when they came out. What would you compare them to or how would you describe them? So T1s are meant to be a Holy Panda clone. Basically, they're just a less aggressive Holy Panda, in my eyes. And when you film and lube them, especially in FR4 plates, they sound unholy. What is your favorite spring weight? I actually do not care about spring weight. Uh, I have enjoyed 90 gram springs and I have enjoyed and regularly used 60 gram springs. Uh, anything in between those two is fine. I don't like get clears. So anything above 90, not for me. Anything like below 60, not for me. I still need to try a holy panda, but I don't know if a less aggression is what I'm looking for. So far, Zelio V2 is my favorite tactile. Um, so Zelios are different from holy pandas in that their tactility is quite aggressive, uh, in that they don't have a very round bump in my opinion. Holy pandas have a much more round bump. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, I forgot the nut. Take a shot every time I say I forgot the nut. Don't, because you'll literally fucking die. <laughs> hey, I'm an alcoholic. Let's do this. No, Burly. I do not support alcoholism. I support happiness. Safety. God damn it. Happiness good? Yes. <laughs> that is where we are at right now. Happiness good. Will you watch me drink on my birthday? As long as you're safe and won't get banned from Twitch, because you might <laughs> if you're not careful. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can drink, but don't get drunk. <laughs> the only thing I really appreciate about the Zelios that I think a lot of people find to be a negative thing is that the lack of pre-travel, the bump is like right at the top. Dude, you might like like box royals or something. Box royals are a super divisive switch because the tactility is like a fucking punch in the face. But you might actually like it. Can you custom cut an FR4 plate? I have a Drivo Caliber, a unicorn layout with koalas. Yeah, as long as you have plate files or you can make plate files, you absolutely can custom cut an FR4 plate. And it's pretty cheap too. All right, let's get the plexiglass screws in. Wait. 
Are the standoffs... Are the standoffs for the plexiglass? And then the case... Is just screws? really fucking painful to watch and I'm so sorry I guarantee I'm just really tired okay screw M2 nuts on each of the six screws from the bottom done <laughs> this doesn't make any sense yeah girl help me Six M2 screws. H5, H6, H7, H8, and H10. And started from the top of the PC. Okay. Done. Screws. Screw the nuts on the bottom on all of them. KK. Put the four M2 screws from the bottom of the PC. These screws are for the plexiglass. Okay. Can do. Why is this so hard for me right now? In your experience, do T1s make a clack sound? Definitely. Wait. I'm... <laughs> My brain is melting. Um, okay. These definitely don't go here. Uh, so we're gonna take those out. These are for the plexiglass. Because there's six screws on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the extra two screws in. Put the screws in for the plexiglass. Put the plexiglass on. And then we'll do the back plate and see what happens. I believe what's actually going to happen is we just screw this onto the bottom and the nut acts as a spacer. Um, do we need two nuts on the bottom as spacers or just one? I think that's what's going on. I apologize for the brain fart, guys. I'm fucking scribbling right now. Implying brains are solid at room temperature, SMH. My bad. Okay, yeah, looks like these spaces are placed directly on the screws. No nuts. Oh! 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 Wait, 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 wait. There's nuts on the other side. And I understand now it's two nuts per screw. I don't know why my, my reading comprehension took such an incredible dip, but I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me while I figured it out. You can tell I'm like hitting my wall, huh? I just dropped the screw. I hope I have spares. What time is it where you are? It is currently 10 o'clock, but I've been sitting in this exact same chair for the past like 15 hours. I'm not exaggerating. Since 7 o'clock this morning. It's not 10 o'clock at night. A time to open the build guide and double check everything? Oof, dude. If T1 is your number four, what's your top three switches? So I didn't say it was my number four. I didn't put them in any particular order because I like them for different uh, applications and reasons, if that makes sense. Um, so T1s are just one of my top three favorite tactile switches. My other ones, do we have a command for this mods? I feel like we talked about making one. Um, it's Gatoron inks, creams, um, alpacas, T1s, holy pandas, and celios. Thank you for that enthusiastic switches command. Um, 
I appreciate it, Obsidian. Thank you. You're the best. Yo, can we talk about for like the fourth stream in a row how amazing my mods are? We appreciate them. The unsung heroes. They deal with me when my brain is melting. Mod respect. Is that a play on mad respect or? What are some group buys that people are looking forward to? Either keycap or keyboard, AKA not currently in group buy yet. So I can't believe 108 of you are watching my brain melt over screws right now. <laughs> Waver. Mods are modding streamer versus modding chat. A bit of both. Ishtar? What is Ishtar? Isn't that like a Bible name? I wish there was an Omega number of tactile switches to try out, like linears. Tactiles are hard, dude. There's some new tactiles that are super interesting that are coming out very soon. I have a bunch of samples right now that I'm playing with. They're fun. Um, they are super interesting uh, they should be reasonably affordable too so and like smooth have you ever heard of smooth tactiles because these are smooth hey eight periods confirmed the think group i will close after the 24 hour window and then open again with a hard cap on friday okay awesome thank you inert what do you say your favorite tactiles are again t1s lubed and filmed Zelios lubed and holy pandas lubed. Zelios v3. I'm sorry. Have you seen one of my streams? Do you think Zeal's sponsoring me? I kind of burned that uh, potential sponsorship to the ground a little bit, didn't I? What do you think of the new novel key switches? So I love JWK switches in general. I haven't had the chance to try the new novel key switches, but I'm sure just like the rest of the JWK switches, they're absolutely wonderful. All right, let's peel some acrylic and get some screws on. It's harder for me because I only like silent switches. Have you tried silent alpacas? Those are by far my favorite silent switch. I hate silent switches, but I like alpacas. The silent alpacas. They're also very cute. Hello, do you need cookie and chocolate milk? Maybe. I'm a little burnt. I think it's a combination of lack of food and my butt hurts. Matrix Noah, just because of how much you can customize on the parts. Look, I'm going to be straight with you guys in a way that I normally am not on stream. Uh, but I'm tired and I'm grumpy. So I'm going to be straight with you and say that I really do not like the Matrix Noah. Um, if you don't care about sound, you may like the Matrix Noah. If you like the look of it. And you want nothing else from your keyboard, but look. Hello. Hello. Do you want me to turn off the face cam? Yes, please. Okay. You're not straight with this? I mean, I am. I'm just being quite blunt right now. Oh, guys, we have cookie and chocolate milk. Stream is saved. Thank you. So she is gay with this? Just, just, just like a little. Just a little. That's a thick cookie? Dude, it's a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. It's amazing. Dad? Son? You gotta pack the Noah with Cervethane. It's really booty. What time zone are you in? Mountain time. I take bite of cookie, then we finish build. A 
Opinion on LZ keyboards? By and large, overrated. Or overrated? I meant underrated. Underrated, underrated, don't come for me. Underrated. Wrong word. Eating near your keyboard super cringe, dude. Is this a client keyboard? No, 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 no. I would never eat or drink like this close to a client keyboard, ever. This is mine, this is mine, <laughs> I promise. Where can you get polyfill? Amazon, it's super cheap, Walmart, it's everywhere. Can you sell me those switches now? No. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. my cookie but I don't I don't feel like you guys wanted to sit here and watch me eat cookies all day so I'd be down for that content but I don't think you would be down for that content where did you get the alpacas I purchased them from Prime KB who is one of my sponsors so if you purchase anything from Prime KB, please consider using our affiliate link. Cookie mukbang stream incoming? Dude, <laughs> if I could, I fucking would. We could just all sit together and get fat eating cookies. It's literally my dream content. <laughs> Dumb question, but is the alpaca pink close to Olivia pink? I personally don't know. I don't have Olivia. I think though, just judging from pictures, Olivia is probably darker and a bit more on the warm side. This is more of like a cool, very, very pale pink, if that makes sense. But only thing I'm basing that off of is pictures, so. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash eats. Are we adopting the Nathan uh, naming scheme? I hope the alpaca stickers get restocked soon. Okay, for some reason, the alpaca weirds me out and I don't know why. <laughs> There's just something about it that's unsettling, which is unfortunate because like I feel like it should be cute and I can't put my finger on why it's not cute to me and why it kind of scares me a little. <laughs> the feeling of it or just the animal? No, no, no. So like, uh, there's like alpaca stickers, like Prime KB has alpaca stickers and like an alpaca like character i want to say that they're making like products extras around um and it's it should be super cute but for some reason it just unsettles me <laughs> i i cannot it like it just it feels a little bojack horseman to me but like in a in a weird way why is it half unicorn? Don't ask questions. It's the eyes, it might be the eyes. So be careful when you're screwing an acrylic as always to make sure that you don't screw it down too tight. You don't want to crack your acrylic, very easy to do. 
Also be careful when you're removing the plastic that you don't scratch the acrylic. Also very easy to do. I know what you mean. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Do you like the sound of alpacas? Yes, I do. You have to lube and film them. If you don't lube them well and film them well, they don't sound good. Um, but if you lube and film them with like thick films or desk key films, they sound fucking amazing. Or minus two screws which is cool we're just gonna run without them for now I'll find them in the morning <laughs> I'm not here for it right now but we are minus two screws you put two more screws down the middle just as like an FYI So bad filming is thin filming, or you know, just bad filming. <laughs> I feel like there's supposed to be more nuts in between. So I'm gonna put an extra nut in between. <laughs> Can you tell my boyfriend is worried about me? <laughs> It's like making me drink shit and like bringing me in food. <laughs> Are you savage enough to use your keyboard as a drink coaster viper? You're late, buddy. We already did that. <laughs> Mr. Viper is late to the party. Ever destroy a keyboard completely with a spilled drink? No, never, not once. Here's the thing, you will only ruin it if it's plugged in. Even if I poured drink on this, as long as I allowed it to dry and like clean anything sticky off of it if it wasn't water before I plugged it in again, and honestly even then, <laughs> it'd be gross, but technically it could be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, the issue is, is when water comes into contact with like electricity <laughs> and is not fine. I'm going to pour chocolate milk on my moon. No. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't see the stream for a bit. I was blinded by the new six. I think 6.5 V2's RGB gamer vision. Do you have a do you have a think 6.5 advanced copy viper? The flex. Somebody's in with Grey Studios. Got it before me. I heard lubing switches with milk make them feel creepy. Switches with olive oil, I am afraid that it's something that I have never tried and I'm not inclined to ever try. Sorry, buddy. Do you have a bee themed keyboard? Alas, I do not. I really want a Honeyboard 60, but those are kind of hard to come by, so. F. <laughs> minus the middle two screws. I'll fix that tomorrow. I am not here to like dig that up right now. So I apologize. Also, I think these screws with the standoffs were 
potentially supposed to go through this back play as well. So, for future reference, for anybody who's watching this VOD with the intention of building their him, I apologize. Put it through the back plate. My brain was a little melty. <laughs> What set you plopping on here, son? Uh, I didn't... I haven't picked one. So... I don't know, what set should I use? I have Nizu. Just like, to my left. So probably that, because it's close. Chai Wasabi, Ayaya? Do we have? I mean, I'm not sure if we have all of Wasabi. It might look nice though. I'll go for it. Don't be fucking weird, chat. I'm standing up. Don't be fucking weird. Alright, you back. Are those existentially yours with the emotes? Because I am here for them. Oh, yeah. I can tell you right now, this keyboard is going to sound really nice. Alpacas? Y'all don't even fucking know. My cat stole my purple sharpie? Dude. Did I ever tell the story about prongles and my artisans? What's the lube on these? 205 G0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Honey, oh fucking shit. You know what the worst part is? I can tell if this had these middle screws, it would be even better. So I'm not even gonna be able to like show you guys it at its best. Feels terrible, man. Worst keyword streamer NA. If honey would wait, wait, oh, uh Raz, the answer is GMK honey. I did not get in on it and I regret it. I try really hard not to pull like the streamer card and be like, hey, sponsor, would you reserve this for me? Or some bullshit like that. But I am seriously mildly considering very politely asking Upas if there's like an extra set that he maybe could set aside so I could pay for it, but that way I can get one. Cause I regretted the spaghetti, dude. I regret not picking that up. <laughs> One of you absolute angels just PM'd me <laughs> that a certain place has pre-orders open for GMK, honey. <laughs> Bless your fucking soul, dude. I'm about to go spend some money. <laughs> Will I regret not picking up the Think V2? Uh, find out on Thursday. I don't know yet because I haven't played with it, but we're getting one in to play with on stream on Thursday. So if you want to see the aluminum one, first look at the aluminum one. Tune into my stream on Thursday. Q W E R T. So there's like some rattle here right now. That is literally only there because I fucked up the screws. 
and there should be middle screws and then so I just want to like make that clear that if you hear any rattle when I do the typing test, it's my fault. <laughs> A-S-D-F-G. But other than that, it sounds fucking amazing. Greg is a meme. Greg is art. Six, seven, eight. God, have I mentioned how much I love FR4? It's so like muted and like perfect and has like the depth but it also has like the oh oh a s d f g h j k l speaking of fr4 plates guess what else has an fr4 plate that we're getting in on thursday oh my god look i know some people love like sa with like fucking holy pandas and they like to make sure that their keyboards are so loud that you can hear them two apartments over and so deep that you can like feel it in your bones and i think that's cool and all but have you tried lubed and filmed alpacas on an fr4 plate <laughs> i love these <laughs> Someone needs to make me shut up before I make everybody hate me. I hate both SA and Poopy Pandas. Yee. I'm broke, I haven't tried shit yet. Oh no. I know the feels, dude. I have a board that is dampened, blue helio is so quiet. I don't like, so I don't like silent boards. I like sound. I just like, you're, you're gonna hear the sound and you're gonna understand. It's going to sound like really nice ranger ups. Oh man, this space bar would sound so good if I had those screws in. <sighs> ordered some mint pandas and got an order of halo clears what what's your take on unholy pandas remind me what unholy pandas are because i've heard people refer to trash pandas as unholy pandas and i've heard people refer to a different switch combination as unholy pandas i like my boards to sound like you're driving and it's raining so hard you can't see anything and have to pull over <laughs> Uh, I'm not getting any notifications of frame drops, and normally it tells me in Streamlabs when I drop frames, so I don't know what to tell you guys. I fucking love this keyboard. Z, X, C, B, B. Fucking shit, dude. I need to stop gesticulating and looking like I'm actually losing my fucking mind. I just get excited over really nice sounding keyboards, okay? It's not weird. You're weird. Don't come for me. Alright? Goddamn. Oh, the face cam died. Good, because this means that I can like be weird about this keyboard and y'all can't see me. Wait, was that Alex? Alex, are you still here? Alex, it's like fucking 2 a.m. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, I know. Oh man, I appreciate you, dude. Thanks for sticking around. I'm supporting my friend. Oh, bless.
All right, I think what I'm gonna do so we can maybe hear the sound better is I'm gonna slide two washers <laughs> with no screw through um, underneath this just so it's not flexing quite so much and so we get a little bit more of that better sound. It's not gonna be exactly like if we had the screws in, but like deal with it. <laughs> Twelve sixteen at Toronto? Okay, so it's not quite 2 a.m. I feel less bad. Oh man, you know what? I just realized what's going on here. I literally just realized why Alan told me to use GMK Wasabi. He's going to steal my board. <gasps> I'm not getting to keep this. The second the stream turns off, he's going to yoink. I can't believe it took me this long to realize. <laughs> he literally just finessed me into putting the set on for him so that he can steal the board. God damn. If anyone was ever under the illusion that I am the brains of this relationship, think again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is all off by one. Where's my Yuki? I found it. I'm not the brains of my relationship and I'm single. I feel that. Oh no, 1000 IQ? Seriously. Could take it all off and let's start over? I'm not that petty. I, I admit that he got me. I didn't realize it until I was like nearly done putting the keycaps on. This is his win. GG. I know when I've been outclassed. <laughs> Alright, where's my backspace key? Alright, I'm gonna slide those washers under. Uh, we're gonna do a sound test and I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Switch polar free keycaps? Yeah, I know. Don't talk for me. I like those keycaps but didn't catch the name. This is GMK Wasabi. Honestly, super slept on set. If Terminal is a little too gamer for you, but you like the idea of it, Wasabi is the set for you. The green is like proper Wasabi green too. All right, I will fix face cam. We'll shove a couple of washes under there. I'm so sorry, I <laughs> And then we'll do a typing test. Thank you for sitting through my hella scuffed stream. Genuinely, I appreciate it. I'm so sorry we had so many problems. I'm so sorry to Yainkar for having so many problems. I hope it didn't distract from his genuinely really well designed and thought out keyboard. Alrighty. Fuck. 
Wait, I used the shift key instead of caps. How did no one realize? Why did no one call me out on that? Y'all, please. You're supposed to catch my dumbass mistakes. Okay, I don't think the I don't think the washer thing was a was big brain after all. I think it was in fact small brain. It's unfortunate though, because that means that it's gonna bang against the bottom. So let me this should work, hold on. There you go, okay. This is gonna make it sound a lot better. I'm just putting a little like, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I have something much better to use. There we go, okay. So before that rattling that was happening was the middle was like <laughs> bending and because I didn't have the washers in the middle. So I just put something very small, like two popsicle sticks to hold it up. Alrighty. So this is a gingham built with lubed and filmed filmed with desk keys films alpacas uh and do rock stabilizers let me kill the music and pull up 10 fast fingers and you know maybe plug it in i don't know can you tell i'm tired <laughs> i was like giving you the spiel before we even have it set up feels terrible man All right, here we go. This is a gingham built with lubed and filmed alpacas. These have been lubed with 205G0, filmed with desk key films, uh, and then uh, in a FR4 PCB plateless, plateless build. You know, you know, you know, okay. What do you guys think? It's so nice. It's really fucking nice. FR4 is best, absolutely, dude. I love FR4. Oh. Just. Honestly, I'm surprised you can get that sound without a plate. Plateless builds actually sound really good, because again, the FR4, it does stuff. Um, just so you have references, without the popsicle sticks, let me get them out of there. Without the popsicle sticks, this is what it sounds like. My cable just fell. Rude. 
So you're gonna hear some like tapping as it bottoms out against the other plate, but the overall sound should be about the same. And you can see it's like ridiculously bouncy because again, we don't have like those middle screws. So it's bouncing a lot. Anyway, the top left is lights, right? Uh, no, so these are all diodes, just exposed diodes. The only lights are right here. There's a red one and a green one. No bump ones as well, yeah? I don't have bump ones on, but it shouldn't change the sound, like, at all, at all. And again, like, the popsicle shims should absolutely make it sound the same as if there were the two washers in between the plates. Do FR4 plates sound like this? With the right switch combination, yeah. My favorite switches in FR4 plates, which is what I have here, are these lubed and filmed alpacas that have been filmed with thicker films. So either thick films, these have desk key films, and lubed with 205G0. Can we get a thumbnail? <laughs> sure, Obsidian. And thanks for the reminder, dude. Here's your thumbnail. And we'll do like a back plate. I, I, I didn't do the I, I, I side. I'm sorry. I'm not weeb enough. You like popsicles? A has got a whole freezer full. No, I use popsicles to shim stuff. You have to hold it still. I did hold it still, Obsidian. I held it like this for like five minutes. And then I like tilted it. And then I like tilted it. <laughs> Don't come for me. All right, I'm going to hit the sack, because if I don't intentionally hit the sack, I'm going to keel over. Uh, how much did the keyboard kit cost? Hit exclamation point build, and you can see the link to get it. It's about $80, if I remember correctly. All right, have a wonderful night, guys. Thank you so much for all 210 of you who stuck with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to probably have nightmares tonight about my camera dying. Um, so I appreciate those of you who dealt with me. My terrible hair day, my bad face cam, my losing screws, my forgetting how screws work and everything else that went wrong with this stream today. I'm going to go get more sleep so I can talk. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. I basically just did a drunk keyboard build but without any of the fun of alcohol. <laughs> All right. Bye, friends. Wait, wait. Is there um someone streaming? I want to raid if anybody... No one's stupid enough to be streaming right now. I'm the only one with that little brain. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? Huey? Okay, I guess we're raiding Huey. I'm sorry for calling you stupid, Huey. <laughs> Don't tell him I called him stupid. Um, I'm sorry. I almost said raid Huey instead of raid man of interest. Go uh, preach the gospel of FR4 flights and enjoy Huey's stream. I will see you all on tomorrow. We will be building a KBD 67. Uh, and then Thursday is the think 6.5 v2 aluminum premiere on our stream so i will see you <laughs> later raz don't you dare all right good night guys i i like how i said good night and then hit the raid button so now we're just like awkwardly sitting here for like 30 minutes uh while we wait for the raid to go through so that's chill all right <laughs> bye guys and now everybody who's watching the vod uh, can see me if you're watching the vod and you're on youtube uh give me a little smiley face in the chat and if you're on twitch just know that i love you good night guys or morning or afternoon i don't know